Make sure I'm streaming. Welcome, welcome. Am I hooked up to the audio? Yeah, let's do this. Welcome back to the series where we are in Man All the Fire Emblem games. Today we are, of course, continuing our journey through Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, we are doing a 20% um, growth buff to all enemies, and then I believe bosses have an additional 5%. Um, last chapter we saw some units starting to get pretty darn strong, and in fact last chapter uh, was a little scary, to be completely honest. Um, so, kind of excited for what that means for the future. Now our units are pretty darn low level, I, I definitely think we need to get kind of a move on, especially with promoting somebody to help out with um, Seth, because it's kind of him against the world right now. Um, oh, I can buy Shine here. Oh, sweet. Okay. That's good, I think. Does Arthur, does Arthur get weighed down at all? Eight. He does buy two. Okay. He's currently level 12. And then I think Nemi is level also level 12. Okay. So both of them are kind of looking to promote, at least relatively soon. I definitely want to wait on it, but what about a Steel Bow, maybe? How bad are Steel Bows? It weighs nine. I'll buy it. What's the worst that could happen? Nine means I can wait on by four? Jesus Christ. <laughs> or whatever. Sometimes you just need the damage. She doesn't double everything anyways. Now we still have this angelic robe. Um, I think I kind of want to just give it to Erica, But I'm not really sure yet. Along with the, the dragon shield, I honestly think just giving stuff to Erica might be a good approach. I don't know. We have Tana. Yeah, we didn't do much with her. Friends level 9, I think Kyle's over level 10, yeah, he's level 12. And then I think Ross is level 8, yeah. Joshua's level 13, okay. So he's still my highest, actually. Do we have a Hero's Crest yet? I don't think we do. No, we have everything else. And a trainee seal. <laughs> uh, but no Hero's Crest yet. And then can I buy Mend here? That would be pretty dope. Yes, perfect, okay. Also unlock. What's the next chapter? I don't think we... No, the next chapter is Carcino. Well, I guess unlock could be good, right? Because if I if I buy unlock here, I don't need to bring um, Calm to the chapter. All right, let's do it. Carcino. Carcino has betrayed Fralia and joined forces with Grotto. Carcino's troops stopped Prince Innis, blocking way to Jehenna. With soldiers occupying the road forward and back, he's trapped in a hopeless situation. Erica rushes to the prince's aid. Yikes. Guess we gotta help Prince Innes. This guy. Revolt at Corsino. General Glenn of the Grotto Imperial, Armor, uh, Imperial Army, also known as the Sunstone. Yes, your orders. Capture the leader of the rebel army in Corsino. Capture Erica. Erica, do you mean the Princess of Renai? Wasn't that already his job? Didn't he send him to do that last time? Erica invaded Carcino. She massacred the citizens of Port Kiris, then fled south. Glenn, go. Crush the rebels who brought ruin to Carcino. Understood, sire. I don't think that's true. What did the Emperor say, brother? I've been ordered to kill the Princess of Renai. Cormeg, I want you to remain here in the capital. I'll go alone. If that's what you want, brother, so be it. But you seem troubled. Acorn, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate it. Um, don't let me, uh, or don't tell me you're concerned about fighting the princess of a ruined land. Mm, I never was able to slip anything past you, little brother. You're right. This duty falls heavily on my shoulders more than any other. I'm a raider. Put your hands in the air. Me? All right, I don't want any trouble here, all right? If you're from Acorn's chat, then uh, then we're cool, right? We're, we're good? Yeah, no, Acorn, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It did, it did, yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, tell me, brother, do you know the, this princess? Yes, when Renai and Grotto were still close, I met the girl. I met Erica only once. We spoke briefly, but I felt uh, she was a woman of great kindness. I cannot bring myself to believe Princess Erica is evil. I cannot, Glenn. The Emperor has ordered. That's the rub, Cormeg. That's it exactly. His Majesty has never spoken of falsehood in all the time I've served him. And as a servant of the Empire, I am duty-bound to obey his orders. 
but I can see no reason to think Princess Erica's heart is any less gentle now. Yeah, it's really hard to sell this whole uh, Erica being like a evil murderer, right? What are these cowardly mutterings? Is it because you three generals are weak that we others must work so hard? And yet you get the honor of killing the girl. How long, uh, how I long to do your duty for you. <laughs> Volter, you tre treacherous swine. What's this? Uh, is this how you speak toward your pure knights of the realm? Cormac just died brutally? It feels bad, man. That's rough. That that can definitely happen to Cormag. We haven't quite recruited him yet, but uh, we may suffer, suffer the same fate for us. Similar fate. Lest you've forgotten, I too am a general, the same rank as you. You wretch, you were cast out from the army for mistreating civilians. What lies have you told to receive uh, pardon and reinstatement at the same time? Our beloved emperor felt my skills were needed, and his word is law. His majesty has earned my sincerest and most undying gratitude. And then we have you three, Selina, uh, Dussel, and you. The three of you have proven to be unreliable time and time again. We were brought in to plug the holes, don't you see? You ought to thank me, Glenn. Vulture, you dare insult my brother further. Come now, Cormeg, and what would you uh, do to me if I did? Would you fight me here? Would you show such disloyalty to the Emperor? Peace, Cormeg. We are his Emperor, or his Majesty's men. We will honor his commands. <laughs> Have you pirate ship? Yeah, pirate ship's rough. The ship chapter is really rough. That one can be really sketchy. Any fog of war chapter is always like a nightmare. Unfortunately, we're not doing um, Ephraim's route, so I can't. Uh, I won't be doing that one. But yeah, that chapter is really kind of a nightmare, or at least it can be. Mark my words, Volter. Your crimes are neither forgiven nor forgotten. Hmm. Princess Innes, what do you say? Can you continue? Yes, of course. Do you believe this is enough to make me give up? I'm surprised you mercenaries haven't turned and fled, though. Now, you see, Garrick's men takes its name from me, Garrick. It's, I'm the chief. If I quit, uh, well, our em employer still fought on, they'd want a new name, you follow me? So, what's the plan? Same as before, we remain surrounded. They're not giving us, uh, they're not going to allow us simply to walk out of here. I sent a messenger off uh, with news of our plight. However, even if the wings of a Pegasus Knight, even on the wings of a Pegasus Knight, fairly is days away, we can expect no help from them. So we tighten our belts and survive, is that it? <coughs> or would you rather quit this place and rest in comfort? Surrender? And the Prince of Fralia, I don't know the meaning of the word. The fate of the world rides on my shoulders, and I'll make it to Gehenna, even if I have to crawl there to do it. Now that makes me feel better. If you're so determined, we may all uh, live a little while longer. Hey Chief, Prince, what is it, Tethys? I've got bad news, and then I've got worse news. What's the bad news? We've no more weapons in reserve. What we're holding is all we've got. Once they're gone, uh, there won't be much left to fight in us. Yeah, we're doing Erica's route on uh, on this playthrough. Uh, that is bad. That's bad news. Well, what's the worst news? They've begun to move. They're going to attack again. Looks like they're sending up the whole lot of them this time. Right, you two, you're done here. Discharged, fired, whatever. You can surrender or flee. The choice is yours. What? I'm the one they're after. Throw down your weapons. <coughs> You'll walk away alive. I don't need you here. You'll only be in my way. Who knows? You filthy sellswords will probably sell me out. Anyways. Hold on there. That's not true and you know it. Peace, Tethys. Hey, Prince. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to get out of here on my own. I'll break to the south and escape into the mountains. That ain't going to be easy. How do you plan on doing that? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea when you'll decide to betray me. Go on. Get out of here. I'd rather do this alone. Sounds like you're trying to make sure you're the only one who dies. Fool, I have no intention of dying. But there can be uh, no false hope of reinforcements riding in to save the day. Commoner, uh, you're a commoner, and I'm Fralia's heir. We of noble birth do not shirk the duties to which we are born. What are you waiting for? You may go. Well played, my lord. <laughs> well played, my lord. I've always loved the melodrama of martyrdom. <laughs> There's no way I could abandon you after that fine performance. I'm staying with you to the end. To the what are you saying? You dare ignore the orders of the one who's paying your wages? To this, I want you to go and surrender. Give my regards to Ewan and Marissa. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not going anywhere. Now would the two of you kindly stop acting like such men? And you, you've already fired us. You can't order us to leave now. Unbelievable. And you people call yourself mercenaries. I thought you fought for money, not for duty. Yeah, that's one of the rules. Guess we're just lousy mercenaries, eh? Now let's get thinking. Uh, we still need a plan to get out of all, to get us all out here alive. 
you're supposed to be a good tactician, so figure out, so figure it out, and I won't die easily. Wait, I think I misread that. <laughs> Tell us what to do, Prince. We'll follow your orders. Um, very well. I'll see what I can do to avoid getting us filled with arrows. Uh, say, Prince, if by some miracle aid were to come, what direction would it arrive? From the north. But that's little or no, there's no, there's little or no hope of that. Even if Fralia would send us aid, they would not arrive until. This may be good news. Then again, it may be more bad news. There, on the northern mountain pass, someone's coming. It's Erica. Princess Innes, or Prince Innes. I don't know why I always call the princess, the princes, princesses. Princess Erica, the princess surrounded by the mercenary armies of Corsino. He looks vastly outnumbered. I doubt he can hold out much longer. I can see that. Let's hurry. Let's rescue him. Okay, so this chapter, I, I kind of want to look at Pablo. He has 41 health. Oh, he doesn't have a siege tome. Oh, for some reason I thought he had a siege tome. So, yeah, his stats look pretty darn strong. And Divine is pretty scary to contend with because, as you can see, he has 17 crit when using it. <coughs> Along with 26 attacks. So, killing him is going to be a pretty sketchy endeavor, I think. But, we'll see what we can do. Uh, Garrick and them shouldn't be buffed at all. It should just be the same. Yeah, I think this is pretty average. There's Ballista. Yeah, there's two Ballistas, I believe. Um, which is pretty scary. What a creepy man, this guy? Yeah, he's a little weird. He is, uh... An advocate of Grotto. Yeah, he's also a, a jerk. So, you know, not a lot to like there. Um... Now, there are reinforcements in this chapter that I normally don't contend with, but... Depending on how long this takes, I may have to... All right, let's make sure we're bringing two healers. I keep complaining about not having two healers. We have unlocked, so I should have uh, a way to open the door in the middle. Uh, bringing Tan is a little sketchy here because of the ballistas, but I think as long as we're careful, it should be okay. Permissions, but very tricky. Yeah, this chapter's kind of funky. There's a lot going on here. And like I said, there's some scary reinforcements, and I don't know how the promoter units are gonna look. So we'll see. Uh, I think everybody's outfitted pretty decently. Do I have just like a hand axe for you to replace your hatchet? Yeah, perfect. Um, okay. Is, can I see Marissa yet? Yeah, there's Marissa. But I don't think Marissa gets buff. No, she doesn't. You don't want to mess with the Crimson Flash? <laughs> Nobody wants to mess with the Crimson Flash. Old Marissa. Okay, what do we got down here? How scary are these guys? About as scary as they've been up until now. And then mages as well. What's Kyle's res? Two, okay. Not spectacular. Friends is three. Doing a lot better. Who's in the back? Primate healers. Okay, I think we're good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, how does Kyle look fighting these guys? Not bad, yeah. Actually pretty good. The mages is what really scares me. I wonder if I can like kill one of the mages turn one. Cause Seth's probably okay here. I'm slightly worried about Seth, cause this guy's a bit scary. I don't think I can kill him as well. I guess 11 damage really isn't that bad. I guess there's like a slight chance that Seth could die here, but I think this is gonna ease a lot of the pressure. So I'm just gonna kill this mage right away. I think hypothetically if Seth gets like uber targeted, he could die here, but I don't think there's a very good chance of that. Sick level up. 14s across the board. Love to see it. Can you reach me? Yeah, but it's just an iron sword. The nice thing is, despite the fact that all the units are buffed, they all have pretty weak weapons. As you can see, a lot of swords and stuff. How do I look fighting you? Probably like decently. Yeah, not terrible. Do I get doubled? You're both fast enough, right? 12 speed, yeah, that should be enough. And then, okay. So I guess we'll just do something like this, and then like this for now, and then everybody else move up. I should probably start getting out these ballistas, right? Uh, here, Erica, you can do a good job. You're pretty dodgy. I believe in you. This isn't a brigand, right? Okay, I just want to make sure you couldn't go over the mountain. I might actually have to look up uh, reinforcement data for this chapter. I haven't done much with reinforcement data on this playthrough, because normally Sacred Stones doesn't really require it, but for our purposes for this chapter, it might actually be useful. <laughs> My plan to get rid of Klimt, I still don't know how to say that, has yielded some unexpected fruit. The head of Freilia's Prince uh, Innes will make a fine gift for Grotto. 
Lord Pablo, Prince Innes and his men have taken refuge in a mountain stronghold. Do we have permission to finish them off? Yes, flush the prince out and cut him down. We'll find Klimt, <laughs> Klimt <laughs> later and roast his old bones as well. <laughs> Lord Klimt, uh, Pablo's troops are moving toward the stronghold. It looks like they're planning on chasing down Prince Innes and his men. Pablo, you mad, reckless imbecile. If Prince Innes dies here, the bond between Carcino and Frelia is sundered forever. Carcino will be nothing more than a vassal paying tribute to Grotto. We must find some way to rid or to aid Prince Innes. Wait, my lord, uh, Klimt. P Pablo is at. I can't. Okay. Pa <laughs> Pablo is after you as well. If you reveal yourself here, ah, uh, my fortune keep you safe, Prince Innes. Or may fortune keep. Don't don't listen to everything, anything I just read. That was rough. Now, as far as um, Garrick and Innes are concerned, I believe you can talk with Innes or to Innes with either Erica or I think Tana. It looks like they are all targeting Seth. But I think he's okay. Um, and then you can recruit them, which I think I think you can also do Tana because Erica's in the back. But I think you can do Tana as well. You can look that up, I suppose. This is the first time I'm opening for uh, for WOD on this playthrough, but I think it's with good reason. All right, what is this chapter? Oh, I didn't realize Mulder was in range as well. I mean, that's fine. We can heal him. This is why bringing uh, two healers is really useful. Uh, what am I looking at? I think so. Erica route chapter eleven, I think. No, no, chapter 10, because chapter 9 was the first one. Alright, Innes talked to you with Erica or Tana. Oh my god, he's dead! <laughs> Alright, my apologies, I must withdraw. Okay, so Seth wasn't fine, as it turns out. Well, that's a pretty big blow. <laughs> well, shit. Oh, that guy's dead. Thank you, Innes. Appreciate you. Okay, so we talked to Innes with Tana or Erica. Yeah, and, okay, and then it, cas it cascades. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I didn't. I didn't think. I, I guess I should have looked at the steel axe. I just looked at the hand, the hand axe was eleven damage, so he would have been okay. But I didn't look at the steel axe as well. Okay, that's really bad. We need to promote somebody like now. No, uh, without him. God, this guy has so much health. Let's see if I can just. Uh, well, I should probably be fine. <laughs> Joshua is still breaking everything. Did it lose at the end of the map? Yeah, we definitely want to keep. Garrick could tell this alive. For sure. Yeah, that Seth death is pretty rough. I mean, we're to the point where we certainly have some other units that can kind of take up the mantle, but not not as much as Seth was. We're definitely gonna have to play a lot slower now. Maybe that was bad. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have. I could have also... Um, I could have also used a sword instead of a lance to kill the mage. It would have made all these mercenaries deal like one more damage, but it would have made the axe. That was probably the better strategy, was to use a sword instead of a lance. I thought lance would be better because I looked at the um, at the one guy and he didn't do that much. But in retrospect, I think that was probably the mistake there. He's using a lance instead of a sword. Okay, I'd like to kill that guy if we can. Uh, we have. Uh, everything other than a hero's crest we have and I think Garrett comes with the hero's crest. Yeah, so we'll get everything by the end of this chapter We have a promotion item for everybody uh, How do I want to do this? Your range is still pretty bad far back. I guess I'm not really that wor worried about these mercenaries to be honest They don't deal a lot of damage. They're pretty weak What about France France doesn't have as good defense Two crit, huh? Friends, I don't like this crit. I, I feel like we need to talk about this. This is going to look bad. Yeah, I don't even know why I looked at that. So I could have Archer do this. I don't hate it. Killing one is pretty nice. Hey, Wheelie. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, uh, Sylvain as well. Welcome, Vin. And Dino. And Cabbage. Is this the chapter where you get the goat? <laughs> Are you speaking of the fabled one, Marissa? Because <laughs> uh, yes, we do. <laughs> the mountain, like the mountain to the left. 
Oh, here you mean? Or, or here? He can reach here, but not here. And then I need to keep surrounding you, so I guess... Can I chuck a javelin and then trade off? No, I can't. I don't know the movement. Okay, just equip the Iron Lance then. And this guy can't reach? Okay, we should be good. I need to heal Molder, or at least just get him out of here. I think the problem with Tana javelining is that the mercenaries hit her really hard. Yeah, and then the, the mage could kill her. So I don't think she has the res to take no damage. Yeah, she only has seven res. But you are right about the archer not being able to reach. Uh, I think we're good doing that. Yeah. And then, yeah, I think I want Erica to just keep doing that. Yeah, Seth just died. I'll get him for the death counter. Actually, when I end this turn, I'll, I'll get him for the death counter. He's actually our first death. Which is kind of nice because nobody's died yet, but it's pretty sedge. No crit. Okay. Should be good because of no crit there. So... Okay, defense. We love defense. What is this image of Seth? Alright, hold on. I have to use this image of Seth. I don't know if I've ever looked up Seth before. I don't know if I've ever lost Seth on a Sacred Stones, uh... Um, Iron Man. Okay, I don't know what's going on with Seth in this image. <laughs> he's like a, he's like a, I don't know what he is, but, <laughs> but this is our boy. Now deceased. Okay, no crit. We love that. Any friends or yeah, we may have to. I really want to wait, but this chapter could get really rough because there are reinforcements on this chapter that are pretty scary. Garrick, oh my god, what did Garrick just do? So, this is one of the things that I'm slightly worried about because oh, okay, no, sorry, I thought he took way more damage. I'm gonna turn on the animation so we can see the green units. Okay, sorry, I thought he went down to like 10 health or something. I just completely missed saw that. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. He died and went to the beach. He's probably having a better time, to be honest. Yeah, it's, it's some hero's art. I've just never, uh, it just, I don't know. I guess it looks funny that seeing Seth not in, like, armor. Maybe I should have had Erica come up here, because she actually could be a, an okay combat unit at the moment. Well, I need to kill these mercenaries. That guy's a killer axe. I would also love to kill that guy. I don't think we have the, the power to do it, but... I mean, how good are you? Not very. Okay, good. Glad we've, we've discerned that. Our, our damage output is just so weak. This guy is absolutely terrifying. If I can kill him, that would be amazing. I don't even double. Franz probably does. He has so much speed. So I could combine to kill that guy. The problem is the, all this other crap. I don't think these two move. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think these two move. It's shanked to the red heart fires. It actually does look like him, yeah. <laughs> pre, uh, pre giving Luffy his, uh, his hat. Uh, I don't know, Shine, I guess, for the two extra damage. I don't think those soldiers move. If the soldiers don't move... Oh, Archer, why do you troll me so? Uh, that's not what I wanted to see there. At all. You can see lovely Mulder animation here. I think killing that fighter is, like, top priority. His friend's Luffy? <laughs> Seems that way. Uh, Wheelie, um... Seth died. Seth got destroyed. Oh, Tana. Oh, Tana. Oh, my God. Maybe I just can't kill this guy. Maybe we just have to, like, let him crit somebody and hope for the best. I can't really think of a way to do it and, like, be safe. There's just so many units here. <clears throat> I mean, I guess this guy's almost dead. And this guy just has a slim sword, so he's pretty weak. I would love to heal Seth as well. I'm still not in range. Oh, I put Archer in range, and I am in range if I go there. Well, I don't love that. I don't even double. Okay. Can we kill the mage? Yeah, can I kill? Can I just kill this guy? <laughs> it's just the top of his little uh, of his little hat. <laughs> That's funny. That's his portrait from uh, from Heroes, apparently. Man, uh, can I kill this guy? There's just no way. <laughs> just no earthly way I kill this guy. Man, I should have brought Erica down here. Uh, I just really need to kill this guy, but doing it is like so sketchy. I suppose. 
I suppose maybe not if I do something like... I need to kill this guy. Oh my god, I literally get one-rounded. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, Tana, why don't you just like go away for a second? Uh, that should be fine, although... Yeah, that should be fine. Can you kill? No. Can you kill? Yes. Okay. Please hit. Arthur missed. I feel like I've already, uh, we've already experienced our miss. Okay. That's good. My team was Seth Appeal. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, what was the other part of this plan? That's a good question. Um,. So, this guy's terrifying, but he doesn't double Natasha. He does. He doesn't double Mulder either. I think this could work out. So, yeah. So if I go, mm, not quite. But I don't have to heal Franz necessarily, as long as these two guys don't move. These, if these guys move. I think I might just be fucked, but they might not. So I guess, yeah, we need to kill this guy. Please don't hit. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I don't think there's any way Ross and Nemi can do it, but I know Franz and Kyle can. And that's what I'm banking on right now. The nice thing is the mercenary and the, the Mermanade don't have two range, which means they can only individually attack one unit. Now the problem is, and this is I think gonna rear its ugly head here in about 10 seconds, is that Archer can also be ranged by the Archer along with the mercenary. So he's the only person that can get attacked by two people. And that's obviously really bad. I don't think there's any way I can really change that. Cause I can't really let Ross do this. I mean, I suppose Ross can just take a hit. I can't really protect Arthur. I have an iron bow. How much defense do I have? Eight. I mean, the thing is... So 20 damage plus 17 minus eight is nine, which means Ross actually survives this. So if I pick up Arthur with Ross, Pick up Archer with Ross, then I send uh, Loot's, uh, but then Loot gets. So the thing is, Ross is fine. The problem is if I, if I pick up Archer with Ross here, and then I move like Natasha here, I would have to move Nemi here and then Loot could die. Loot has 44 avoid at the moment. Otherwise, I could just hope that they don't. I mean, the thing is, there are there are two. If I do this, I feel like, okay, I'm gonna just hope for the best here. So if I do this, yeah, and then I do this. Okay, there is a. So this is slightly less. There's a chance that Archer could die here, but I think there's a higher chance that nobody dies if I make this play. I think Erica just need to come down here. I need Erica's help. <laughs> God, I need Erica's help. Oh, they do move. Okay, now there's a chance that Franz could die. You know what? You know what? Die, Franz. I don't care. I don't care about you anymore, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, man. I don't want Archer to die. I thought there was, I thought there was a pretty good chance. Oh, it's cause he gets doubled. Oh, my bad. All right. Well then this was just terrible. The rest is up to you. I should have rescued him. I should have rescued him. Yeah. I, I forgot I had shine equipped. No crit. Okay. Nice. No crit. Oh, I get doubled. Oh, I survived that. Yikes. I forgot I had shine equipped. I thought there was a higher chance that the guy would attack, um, my healer over attacking uh, him, but... 
Well, Ross wouldn't have died. So the thing, the thing about the other situation is I could have walled off the Myrmidon and Ross wouldn't have died because the mercenary would have dealt 10 times two and then the archer would have dealt nine, which would have done 29 and he had 30 health. So what I could have done there and what I was considering doing was uh, rescuing Archer with Ross. The problem with that move is it would have let loot, it would have left loot on her own. And I thought, I thought the mercenary would prioritize the healer instead of Archer. And I think if Archer had lightning equipped and not shine, it actually could have worked. But the fact that he had shine and the mercenary one rounded him, I think made him prioritize that attack. But I could have rescued Archer with Ross and I, that would have worked out. Now all of this is moot, because we just got shit on. <laughs> it is helping me here is actually pretty nice. Although now Tethys I think is like extremely exposed. Maybe that wasn't the best move. I mean I, I can't affect that move, so. I kind of wish this archer would have come over here, because I need I need to kill this archer so Tana can go over there. This is a mess by the way. I should go deserved that you're missing that 83%. Not a great day for redheads? No, it really isn't. It really isn't. Okay, we need to heal. We need to kill this mercenary. We need to heal. And we need to lure this guy out with Nemi, I guess. There was definitely a better play that turn than the one I ended up with, but I, I, th I think it was just really tough to... Like I said, if I had realized that he had Shine equipped and he was going to get doubled, I definitely would have done something else. Alright, well, we're, we're on the loot plan as far as promotions go. So... I need to kill this guy for starters. That's close. Straight up juicing. They really are, though. They really are. Can I javelin this guy, maybe? Okay, that works. Please hit. You can always rely on Tana. A lot of experience, too. Okay, uh, Nemi, go over there, because I need to kill that guy. The fact that these guys only have... Oh, he is, she has an elixir. Dude, get her elixir, Garrick. What are you doing? <laughs> what is the matter with you? Well, the nice thing is that she'll heal, and she shouldn't get one shot here. No. Well, just barely. All right, so I need to heal both Kyle. I got mend for you, right? Yeah, okay. So let's heal you. Can you promote somebody? We probably should. I just don't even know who to do. Like, everybody's honestly not that high of level. Could do Kyle, I suppose. And then... I mean, Kyle does look pretty good fighting all these guys. I guess just... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, it's the classic, it's the classic blunder, the one that I make all the time. That's a yikes for me. I thought that guy had a javelin. It turns out he did not. This is now a nightmare. How much speed do you have? 17, so I shouldn't get doubled even if I... Yeah. Oh, Christ. You have a ja uh, lance equipped, right? Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, yeah, this is just what I have to do because unfortunately Natasha has two health. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, that's a good point. The archer actually would have just suicided into Innis. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. Okay, good level up. We like speed. I think Ross should be fine. I mean, there is a chance that he could die here, but... I think this guy attacking is probably good for me, unless he crits. Because he's a bit weaker. Yeah, okay. We should be good. God, that's like, I. if you've watched this channel for a while, you've seen me do that a hundred times. I guess I don't do it that much, but yeah, the whole like going to check what a javelin would look like fighting an enemy and then not having a javelin, so accidentally hitting rescue. Bad. Ranger Nemi. Okay, don't die. Jesus Christ. Will you protect your dancer, green units? Figure it out. Actually, she could have died. Can he die? No, well, apparently not. Well, I can't sell Tana over there anymore because of the Ballista. Yeah, this is all bad. Okay, but he's healed, so he should be okay. Well, he takes a big hit here. Ranger Nemi. <laughs> Alright, we're hanging in there. Get Tethys out of there! 
Okay, Tethys is just dead. I mean, she's unbelievably dead. The problem is she's not hurt, so she went back up out of the fort, yeah. Oh, this guy just doesn't move. <laughs> he just doesn't give a shit. Okay. Uh... Well, we're doing okay here, I suppose. It's one way to look at it. Okay, that's fine. We could hold this for a while. The, the problem is gonna be reinforcements. Uh, I only have the one healer right now. Let's kill this guy. This is stressing me out so much. We're fine, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be okay. Uh, I guess Eric could go over there. Do we need to be healed? No, not really. Okay. No, don't heal Franz! Man, this should take away my A button. Alright, well... I just don't think there's a chance that, like, Tethys could get her holding on the 40 year. She has 34 avoid? It's gonna be like a 60. I need to drop you. You need to... I guess you could do this. Do you have Vulnery? No, does anybody have Vulnery? You do, okay. Why don't you heal yourself? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, you get crit, it's kind of bad. I can move loot in there? That's probably worth it. Well, no, probably not. Probably just do that and then this. That's probably better, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Cabbage, I think that's true, but I, I really don't have any recourse to it at the moment. I mean, if it happens, it happens. Oh, God. Do the Brigands move before the Mercenaries? All right, there's a definite chance that Kyle could die here. Okay, now we should be good. Unless I get a crit, but even a crit won't matter here. Oh, I didn't even get doubled. Perfect. Dodge. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay, well, the, the one good thing is that if Tethys doesn't die here, she will almost certainly go back on the fort and use an elixir. Now, if she dies, that's irrelevant. But... Okay, we'll rip. The Dark Rider I foresaw, he was coming for me. No, wait, what? What is she talking about? The Dark Rider I foresaw, he is coming for me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. No! All right, this is this is getting bad. Prince Ephraim, but lead us to glory. Prince Ephraim in here, Kyle. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, I shouldn't die here. Death quote was that? Teth is dying, apparently. Okay, more healing. And then you should go... No, don't go there. Well, I guess that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Getting Innis is still pretty useful here. It's getting ouchy ouchy? Yeah, I would say so. I would agree with that. All right, we're running out of, running out of like, bulky units that can actually take up... Uh, Take up, uh, the, the problem now is that there's a combination of swords and axes. I guess it's not that big of a problem. We just need to switch to swords ourselves. If he hit harder than FE6 confirmed, confirmed. Man, can you believe we, we started this uh, this stream with a with a clean slate on uh, deaths? We're far from that now, gentlemen. We're gonna be down to just Erica. Um, Trying to hold on for dear life. Mine range of you? No, okay. All right, Joshua, it's gonna have to be you, bud. I don't really believe in you, but let's just say I do. You guys a little stick? Yeah, a very little stick, unfortunately. Uh, you can kill that guy. How dangerous is this? 30%? I mean, hand axes are gonna be even worse. I think killing this guy is pretty useful. We need to start, like, 
clearing some of this nonsense. All right, this might not be the best idea, but I feel like I'm just sending another unit to their death. But I believe. I don't really have much recourse here. <laughs> the top of his uh, the top of his hair was cut off. <laughs> I love Joshua. As long as Joshua's alive, I'm happy. <laughs> just the weird Joshua shit is just so uh, appealing to me. So this guy wasn't moving. I really hope that the fact that he's now being attacked. I mean, God, you, know, you really never know. I could. Well, I suppose I could just do this, and then he's pinned in. That's probably the better idea, because that way, even if he does decide now is the time to move, it won't matter. Yeah, I should update the death counter when it when I switch to enemy phase. I'll update the uh, I'll update the death counter. Okay, you can attack again. So Franz definitely has a sword equipped, right? We're we've established that, and then I need to heal you. Yes. Okay. And everybody's good. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Okay, let me get some death. So who died? So Archer died and four and uh, sorry, Kyle died. Don't hit. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, slightly more avoid. Okay, this is good, but please miss. Okay, that is good though. Ish. And then Archer. Archer. Just misspelled that like crazy. Oh, there's a nice uh, Heroes Archer. Whoa! Okay, now I think he's dead. Guy hits like a goddamn truck. Ah, yeah, the mercenary moving before. Yeah, maybe dodge. So you're telling me this? Is, stop critting. What, what's your problem? So you're telling me there's a chance. Maybe this is the god run for Joshua. Do I get a game over if Innis dies? Please miss. I feel like 15% is pretty reasonable. Please miss. Okay. He's not dead. He's not dead. Is this a game over? Do I did I lose? I won't give up. Not here. Not in this place. I will keep going, even if I have to crawl. Well, it's not making the noise. Okay. All right. I guess we're good. <laughs> I guess we're okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I suppose I, I suppose I should get um, Innis and Tethys for the uh, for the death counter. So whoever wanted to see uh, Tethys and Archer um, support conversation, <laughs> don't worry because I've ruined both halves of that. Uh, okay, we should be able to clear up a lot of this nonsense. In the, well, I shouldn't say a lot. We're running out of good combat units. <laughs> Sorry, we're running out of units. Uh, this is probably fine. So much for your mission. So you can't get Marissa. Uh, I don't think. How do you get Marissa? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I assume not. Do you, you need Garrick for it, right? Melkin, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to hell, apparently. Uh. Okay, that's fine, but I need to heal you first. Do this, I guess. Thankfully, we have mend. Do not mend loot, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> um, Joshua can recruit her. Let me see. What does it say on Marissa? Talk to with Garrick. Oh yeah, we can't get Garrick at all. Yeah, no, I don't think we can get her. At least according to Farm WOD, we can't get her. Yeah, that works. <laughs> where is it? Where is he? <laughs> Pretty creepy towards him. Even asking her to call him, uh, even asking her to call him her mom at one point. <laughs> Yikes! All right, I'm kind of sad we missed that, but you know, 
Yeah, let's finish this guy off. We've <laughs> turned Albuquerque to take. I uh, well, <laughs> it's been it's been rough out here. Sick level up. Well, the I think that that Deuce or Dace Jekai. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but Jekai, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to Hell as well. Is the Hero's Crest? But the the problem is, yeah, the problem is that we I don't even think we can get him. Like I don't think we can get his Hero's Crest because you have to recruit him in order to do that. You need um, Tethys. So I th I think that's just a lost cause at this point. Yeah, I don't know when the next Hero's Crest we get. That's actually pretty sad because the one thing that I like really want is Hero's Crest because Joshua's. I wouldn't mind promoting him, but oh no. Oh, if that if this guy moves first, I just put Mulder. I'm stupid. I can't really pick him up because Antana will die. Yeah, putting Mulder there was not a good idea. Damn. All right, well, we live with the consequences. Damn. Ow. Uh, yeah, Seth, Ar Archer, Kyle, and then Tethys and Innis have died, and then we can't recruit Garrick, so technically I guess he's dead as well. Oh, and he does move first. Oh, Mulder could die here. That was a big mistake putting Mulder there. Garrick can die, I don't care. Chapter 14? Okay, that's not too bad. Bye, Mulder. Sorry, I believe this is as far as I can go. That was my bad, Mulder. I'll, I'll take I'll take responsibility for that one. That was just really dumb on my part. Okay, nice. Throw <laughs> anybody. Who do we even promote though? Like, Franz is barely level 10. Um I wouldn't mind doing Joshua, but we don't have a Hero's Crest. Could do Nemi. Uh, what level is Nemi? 13? Okay. He's level 8. Francis is level 10. We could promote him. Um, I would really like to do loot. Whoa, what are all these guys doing? I would really like to do loot. Uh, um, because then we could heal. We're fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're fine. It looks worse than it is. Uh, no. Uh, can I kill this guy? <laughs> Even when Nebby doubles people, she still can't kill. <laughs> she is amazing, isn't she? Uh... God, these combat windows, man. I just keep looking at combat windows until I find one that I like, but I don't like any of them. Alright, that one I like. I'll admit, that one I like. That one looked pretty good. Okay, uh, so this is pretty much it for now. What do you have an iron axe? 22 attack. Minus force 18. Yeah. Wait, no, you can get to me. Uh, no. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Back to the throne room, boys. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. No, Natasha has unlock. I think we get a door key too, if I remember correctly. We also have Tana to potentially ferry people over if we need. But yeah, I believe uh, I believe she has it. You can take a hit, right? 100% for defense, 22, yeah, okay. Then this works. Uh, is anybody hurt? Oh, I was supposed to heal Ross. Ah, <sighs> God. I just, man, I just like losing my mind. I was supposed to heal Ross and then rescue drop Natasha. Oh my God. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Sick level up out of Natasha. What do you have? 22 minus eight is 14. Hey, that's his life total. Fuck me.
Sorry, Ross. I'm a warrior to the very end. I should probably update this death counter, huh? Uh, so Ross... Garrick's still doing a pretty good job. Man, this Garrick fella seems pretty good. Be cool if we could recruit him. Uh, and then, who else was it? Mulder. <laughs> if you type in Mulder... <laughs> okay. Oh, it's... I don't know why it's showing a picture of Natasha. That's not Mulder. Nobody cares about Mulder. Even people that look up Mulder are just looking for pictures of Natasha. Team Megma 1. This feels bad. Alright, I'll put him on the death counter. Uh, next enemy phase combat. Alright, who's left? Who's still hanging around these parts? We still have Joshua. This guy doesn't move. Which actually would have made that extremely safe had I actually healed Ross, which would have been cool. Should we still the end of this chapter to update the death counter? Yeah. And honestly, at this rate, the death counter might not be important. <laughs> if you know what I mean. If he's gonna be a banger. It's gonna be something. Uh, yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, you don't even double? Oh, I can kill that guy. Sure. Do that. Sweet. Nemi still trucking along. I like that out of all the units we've lost, Nemi remains. <laughs> Nemi remains. A statue. A watcher in the darkness. Or the, the pale horse or whatever, whatever Ted has talked about when she died. Alright. We're looking pretty good. <laughs> Natasha actually has 22 health, that's pretty good. No, I don't, you can't steal from green units. We don't have Calm anyways, and he's not fast enough to steal from Garrick. But no, I, I don't think you can steal um, green units items. Jesus Christ. Unfortunately. Oh yeah, ne Nemi's level 14. Joshua's higher, but yeah, she's definitely up there. This guy's got the door key. Yeah, that's probably why it doesn't move. <laughs> sure. We'll kill him eventually. Now, the other problem, I actually didn't think about this. I don't know how we're killing this boss. I hadn't quite gotten that far. <laughs> but I just thought about it, and uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really sure how that one's gonna work. This boss might just be invincible. I, I think we may have to proc a Joshua crit at the end of this chapter. If I'm being honest. God, that just looks so bad. The nice thing is we still have killing edges on Joshua, or one for the most part. The life of Poplo. And get you kill loot. How much defense does Pablo have? I think a decent amount. Sick level up. <coughs> Natasha, oh, we could do that. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. He only has 10 defense. He does have 17 crit. How much luck does Joshua have? 12, that's not bad. With a little bit of crit avoid, that might actually work out for us. Okay, that's fine. Come attack me. I think playing this slowly is definitely the way to go. From six of farm eight. Yeah, it turns out if you just buff the shit out of all the units, <laughs> Sacred Stones actually uh, starts to look pretty scary. Who'd have thunk it? Service loot over, yeah. But the thing, like I said at the time, um, in my mind, and I still think it would have worked had I had lightning equipped. But yes, in retrospect, I definitely should have. Although to be honest, I'm still not really sure if we could have kept uh, Archer alive because with the mercenary one rounding Archer, well, no, no, rescuing with with Dart or with uh, Ross would have done it. So yeah, I could have kept him alive. Yeah, no, you're probably right. 
he definitely was better than this loot, but... Again, I, I really did think we could have gotten everyone out of that turn alive. Really, honestly, Seth dying so early in this chapter is what really screwed us up. Should have equipped that sword. Of course, you can't kill. Why would you be able to? Why would you do anything useful? Maybe Nemi could kill the boss. Okay. Alright, I guess we'll just hang out here again. Let them attack me. No villages to destroy. I don't really know what these brigands are doing, to be honest. Uh, Garrick can play with that guy. I suppose if Garrick goes down here and starts attacking these guys, that might be bad, but... Ain't too much about that. Pull the Leroy Jenkins. He killed that mage, you know? At least he didn't have any super important items. He did have the Silver Lance, which kind of blows, but... I don't think he had really anything else too crucial for us. Alright, well, at least Garrick's alive. <laughs> Not that, that does us much good. You know, I'm gonna put a lot of this on Garrick, okay? If he had done just a slightly better job of actually protecting Tethys and not making her, like, the the primary defender of the little fort they were in, maybe he would have survived, or she would have survived. In fact, I don't want to say maybe. She would have survived. What level is loot? I mean, the nice thing is she keeps getting big experience. Seven? Okay, not too bad. Sure. Ow. Wait, am I in, uh, am I in ballista range if I do this? I might be. No. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I suppose I could just do this. This is probably fine. And the ballista, actually, I think Joshua's in ballista range, which is good. <laughs> the handle of the, <laughs> of the axe keeps disappearing. We love that. Alright, nice kill for Nemi. Magic screwed so far? Yeah, I don't think she's got magic at all. Uh, seven. Yeah, I want to say that's her base. Could be wrong about that. Uh, okay, I think we're good. Yeah. I'm stupid. Okay, I got a little nervous when I heard a crit happening, <laughs> but we're okay. She's minus three right now, Jesus Christ. Did he not attack me? He might've had zero uh, hit. That guy's a Lance Reaver, Jesus Christ. All right, let's open this door. And then, how scary are you? There's probably gonna be crit here. Actually, there should be no crit with Erica, so I suppose I can just use her. It's probably safer. And then, yeah, you can start building that support a little bit. I ran out of iron sword hits. That's a yikes for me, dog. Okay, um. Well, he won't attack you anyways. Erica's too juicy. Okay, that's fine. Good luck not dying. All right, thanks, Cabbage. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Hopefully, there will be a, a next part to this uh, <laughs> to this playthrough. But yeah, Lord Genesis is worse than that. I there's two units. I don't even have the, on the death on the death counter yet. And we don't get Tethys, Garrick, or um, Innis. So yeah, <laughs> it's been a, it's been a rough day. All right, it's been a, it's been a rough day thus far. Defend chapter should be interesting. Honestly, there's a lot of chapters that I think will be very interesting. <laughs> At this point, I'm really curious how long this playthrough will even go. 
I'm not admitting defeat. Not by not by a long stretch. I will I will grind this out until uh until it forces me to stop after Erica dies. But uh yeah, it's it's looking pretty sketchy. Okay, we finally got magic and a little speed. I still think it can be done. What's the next chapter? Uh, yeah, the next chapter's not too bad. Now the next chapter is some more green units that I think will kill themselves, but yeah, I don't need that. Alright, I need you to start using that. Oh, do I have just like an iron sword in my convoy that I could get? I don't. Okay, great. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Killing edge it is. Oh, the yeah. No, the late game is going to be ridiculous. I'm not even thinking about the late game, to be honest. Like, we're we're so far uh we're so far away from even getting to that. But yes, I will I will agree. It's going to be rough. Next playthrough only 19% growth increase. I definitely think this is doable. If this does fail, I probably will run back to 20%. Um, but maybe I'm just insane. We haven't failed yet, to be fair. Until who unit is like if they're going to have crit, it's it's just based off luck. So like Pablo has 17 crit, you can see down here when he's using his divine tome, and then it's just held against luck. So if Joshua attacked him right now, he would have five crit against them. <laughs> Carry the lake in for real, for real. All right, I'm I'm keeping you to that. I believe. I have faith. So like this guy, for example, I have um, five luck and this guy has nine crit. So he'll have four crit against me when he attacks me. Which actually would have killed me, so I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, I got you, Acorn. Yeah, if you have any other questions like that, always feel free to ask. And then luck uh, or support can play a role in that too. So that's what we're talking about at the moment. Building the Natasha um, Joshua support so that the boss doesn't have crit against us. Actually, speaking of that, I think we've actually built that. Uh... Yeah, let's do that. Hey, I've been hearing good things about you lately. Everyone's real happy you've been helping to, the, you've been helping to heal them. I mean, she's our only healer now. So yes, I, I would say some nice things about her. Really, that's nice to hear. I do what I a little I can, but I'm glad uh, if I've been helpful. Oh, you have been, rest assured. You don't just mend flesh, your smile eases all our pain. <laughs> Alright, that's a little weird. So, I may have lost our bet, but everything seems to have turned out for the best, right? Joshua, I just do what I can to help uh, and stay out of others' way. I'm just saying, you've saved a lot of lives out here. We've got other healers, I know. <laughs> that's not true, Joshua, I don't know who he's referring to. But you're more than that, you're special. And maybe the most cynical of, the, of your lot, or of our lot. But even I can see that. Joshua, you're far too kind. Don't be so humble. You deserve the praise. If if you say so. Well, I do. So keep it up. I'll do what I can. Nice smile. Nice smi hey, nice smile. You're prettier when you smile. <laughs> Joshua's not that creepy, but you know. Just got a little bit of that going. Alright, let's start luring out the last ballista. Yeah, we can do that with Erica probably. Okay, well, it looks like we're at least going to have a shot at finishing the chapter, even if it hasn't exactly gone uh, smoothly. Well, the nice the nice thing, too, is that Garrick isn't moving. Marissa doesn't, like, give you anything, does she? Okay, I just want to make sure she didn't, like, have something that she was going to drop that I could still go kill her for. But it doesn't look that way. Will she be a Myrmidons or Rizless? Apparently. Apparently. I don't know, Ruck, Rucker, Clarion seems like pretty in love with the Rucker. He seems to have some Riz. I think it's unintentional. Joshua doesn't have any Riz, that's for sure. That is for certain. What do you have? A red gem that I could steal if I had actually brought a thief. That would have been a smart idea, huh? If for some reason, I don't know why, but I really thought that Pablo had bolting on this chapter. Maybe when he reappears on um, Hamill Canyon or whatever it's called, he comes with a... Uh, he comes with, like, Purge or something. I don't know why I thought he did. We get another Guiding Ring here, which is... <laughs> a thing. 
Okay, so... Alright, we'll lure this guy out. Here, Nemi, go crazy. I think he probably moves, right? Yeah, it seems that way. Oh, she's diffing this archer. That's kind of cool. We'd love to see that. So if the if the support between Natasha and Joshua gives plus five uh, dodge, I don't know if it does or not. I would just assume that five would be the number. Um, that should mean that there's no crit from the boss. But I don't know if that's true at all. I kind of just made up that number. Get a nice out of Nemi. Um, okay. I can get you to come out. Loot in the arena? No, I'm not going to do any arena stuff. Don't get me wrong. The arena... I don't know, Acorn. That's a good question. I kind of don't want to find out, especially with loot, because if that's the case, I think she's going to get one-rounded. But... Don't get me wrong, the arena or the Tower of El Knight would help us quite a bit, but no, I'm not going to be using any of that. We can maybe go in the arena with, like, Joshua if we really want to check. But it does make me nervous. Because Joshua shouldn't get doubled by anything. Damn, Nemi's a beast! Oh, can they? Well, then Joshua could get doubled. Okay, maybe we just don't go in the arena. Okay, nice level up. I mean, I'm kind of curious too, Acorn, but if they can go over their stack cap, that because the reason I would put Joshua in there is because there's no way he could get, he could get doubled, but if they go over their stack cap, there is actually a chance he could, which scares me. Nemi the goat, Nemi is the goat. Shouldn't be in any danger here. Now, Erica thankfully has a ton of luck, so I don't really have to worry, worry about her getting doubled. Potentially, Erica could fight the boss, but I don't think she's strong enough to do it. Um. Okay, that'll work. Just a weird noise. Do, 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 do. We can put Nemi in the arena. What about what about Nemi Arena? How does that strike you? <laughs> Nemi Arena time. Ter it scares it scares the shit out of me. She's the emblem ring and not F frame. <laughs> she's the best. Uh, okay, how does this look? With the five crit, what if we go in support range? Now what does it look like? No crit. Oh my god. And we get... Ooh, actually, this looks great. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. I did... Okay. This actually makes me really happy because I was genuinely a little bit worried that we would not be able to kill the boss. But I definitely think we're going to be able to looking at that. No one can withstand the might of Grotto. Logic dictates we join now or be subjugated later. I made the rational decision. The only decision. All right, Pablo, whatever you say, buddy. I don't really care. You know, Joshua is not breaking apart this uh, this sprite. Look, Pablo looks normal. That's so weird. Maybe Pablo is so fucked up, like just innately, that Joshua can't break him even with his, uh, his thing. That's really weird. <laughs> I think that's the first time we've seen an enemy that doesn't get like broken in half by Joshua. Damn, this Natasha's gotta be uh, magic blessed. She's gotten so much of it. I suppose I could ballista the boss, but. Oh! Okay, well, I'm stupid. Okay, I got bailed out. I, I took Natasha out of uh, support range by accident by rescue dropping her, but that's fine. We got lucky. No, I cannot die when there is such wealth to be had. Retreat, mercenaries to me. Better to be lucky than good, that's for sure. Sick. You know, the res would have been more useful before you killed the mage boss, but whatever. 
Okay, well, we're at least gonna get out of this chapter, which is <laughs> more than I could say that what I was expecting for a while. I'm gonna grind Natasha a little bit here by letting her heal for a couple of turns. What level is she? 10, okay. Could promote her now. Um, I think I'll wait. Although, actually, the next chapter has a bunch of uh, monsters on it. Now, the nice thing is, as people have pointed out a few times, monsters don't really have good growths, so I don't think the monsters are gonna be changed that much. Just gonna ring for his cleric girlfriend? Honestly, true. True. Nemi's level 15? Okay. We'll see how sketchy the next chapter ends up looking, and then I guess I'll decide whether I want to uh, promote somebody or not. Okay, let's get out of here. Jesus Christ. I found you, Erica. Seems you're as skilled as reports say. This is gonna be fun. Yes, 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 I do so love strong women. <laughs> I do so love strong women. Shall we attack General Volter? No, we'll pass on dessert for now. Allow them to escape, we're leaving. This guy is very creepy. Prince Innes, are you well? Erica, I'm sorry for troubling you. No, it was no trouble. Oh, Prince Innes, thank goodness you're unharmed. Who are you? Now, where are my manners? I'm a, gen I, I'm a general. I'm a member of Carcino's Council of Elders. My name is Klimt, a council member. So you're one of the traitors who ordered, but peace, please. I have no intention of opposing you or quarreling with you. I too have been marked for death by Pablo. What is this all about? It's a shameful tale. Carcino is a nation divided. As you know, Carcino has no king, but it's ruled by a council. But now the council is broken apart into factions mired in discord. Factions? You're saying that the whole of Carcino has not betrayed Fralia? Correct. The moderate factions prefer to preserve our alliance with Fralia. Pablo's faction wishes to endure, uh, endure us to Grotto to survive or to surrender us to the, their armies. Once Pablo realized he couldn't ply us with bribes, he began to have us assassinated. Those of us who remain have taken refuge underground. We oppose him where we can. <laughs> Let's get a teller. Yeah. <laughs> if you hadn't shown up, I'm not certain I would be breathing. I do recall enemy troops combing this area when I arrived. They were searching for you, is that it? Pablo has usurped uh, rule of the council. He had no choice but to hide, or we had no choice but to hide. Not all of Carcino's councils have gone over to Grotto's side, though. You must believe me, the whole of Carcino does not believe as Pablo does. I see. Lord Klimt. Uh, <laughs> Klimt. I understand the hardships you've endured. I am pleased to hear uh, all of Carcino is not our, our foe. I will depart at once for Fralia to explain our circumstance to the king. I think it is best if you return to Fralia as well. Pablo has considerable wealth, and he commands a fast mercenary vo force. I'm sure he'll send more of them this way as soon as he is able. Princess Erica, Prince Innes, I think we should follow the advice we've uh, been given and return to Fralia. Continuing on through Carcino like this is too great a risk for our safety. The peril is self-evident. However, I have to reach uh, Jehenna, and the only way is through Carcino. If I don't hurry, nations will fall, one after the other, to Grotto's hunger. Innes is right, and the road to Roston leads me through both Carcino and Jehenna. However, pressing on will only invite more mercenary attacks. Hey, I've got an answer. <laughs> hey, Iwan, what's up? I know a way that leads over the mountains straight to Jehenna. Want me to guide you? And who might you be? I'm Iwan. And you're adventurers, right? Tell me what... Uh, tell you what, take me with you, and I'll help you out. I'm a mage. A mage, you're a child, and a beggar, more like than not. Off with you, you're wasting our time. A child, good luck then. No, wait, hold a moment. Do you really know of the mountain pass? That's what I said. At the top of the mountain, at the top of that mountain, there's a village named... Kair... Pa Pailin. Pailin. Uh, that's where my teacher lives. I'm sure he'll lead you through if you ask nicely. What is your teacher's name? My teacher, his name is Salad. Salad, I've heard that name on the lips of Freilia's spy network for, uh, lately. He's a powerful wielder of magic who has been fighting bandits and monsters. The spies mentioned something about uh, Kaer Palin, Palin, if I remember. What do you think? Mm, if my spies are accurate, this Salad is somebody we can trust. Very well, Iwan. Uh, will you take us to meet your teacher? No problem. All right, everyone, see if you can keep up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Have you seen any dancers around here? Uh, <laughs> um, all right, let me, let me officially add to the death counter. I'm not currently putting Tethys, Innes, and Garrick, although I could. 
Um, but we are going to definitely add Mulder and Ross. The Ross death was really bad. The Ross and the Mulder death were definitely... Like, the other ones were my fault, don't get me wrong. But at least those felt like we, you know, they were necessary to complete the chapter. The Ross and the Mulder ones were very avoidable. Let's, let's just put it... Let's just put it like that. Okay, so... Uh, like I said before, I don't think this next chapter is too difficult, so I'm not that worried about it, but... So what, what are our levels at the moment? Erica's level 15, unfortunately pointless, because we can't promote her. Tana's still level 4, Natasha's level 10, Fred's level 11, Nemi's 15, Joshua's 16, but I can't promote him. Loot is 8, and then that's it. I should probably shove somebody, uh... No Nils dance party this run? No, unfortunately not. Um, I should probably shove somebody else, like, training. You know, it's funny, I thought we were gonna have too many units to train, like, I was overextending myself, but it turns out they all just died, so <laughs> we're not overextended at all! Now, that's not a great problem to have, or not problem to have, I guess, but, you know, it is what it is. Hey, Seafarer, I can fact check you in real time. Hello, Seafarer, welcome, welcome. I get the feeling I might know uh, who you are on YouTube, but uh, welcome nonetheless. I can fact check you in real time. Well, as you can see, our uh, our stream thus far has not gotten uh, gone spectacularly, but... Uh, getting the Dancer and the Jagging killed? Yeah, no Dancer anymore, no Jagging. Um, no even, like, strong pre-promotes with either Garrick or Innes. Uh, <laughs> okay, Seifer, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fi I figured as much. The fact checking uh, aspect of it made me uh, gave me a pretty good clip, uh, pretty good hint. Well, welcome, welcome. I appreciate uh, certainly all of your comments on YouTube. Feel free to fact check it. Will <laughs> life finds a way? Yeah, let's hope so. According to Ewan, a little known passage to Jehenna lies there, hidden within its cracked uh, red bedrock and knife edged peaks. To avoid Carcino and combat. Sorry, give me one second. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Just got a really weird text. Uh, Erica's troops take the mountain path. They begin climbing higher and higher toward Kair, uh Pylon. Unbeknownst to the group, hordes of dark creatures now roam the peaks. Yikes. This be a pretty good chapter for uh, for Arthur, you know. Creeping Darkness, Chapter Eleven. Oh look, Seth's there and Innes. We're almost there. Come on, my teacher lives just up ahead. Slow down, Iwan. Let's stick together. This fog's getting thick. I don't expect any more surprise attacks, but that doesn't mean we quit worrying, Mister. You're gonna get left behind. Don't speak to me, boy. I don't tolerate insolence. Innes, he's only a child. There's no reason to be so rude. He's helping us uh, after all. That's right, without me, you'd never get where you're going. So come on already. Stop, don't take another step. Huh? That's gonna make it awfully hard to get where we're going to. <laughs> what do you know, what do you know about that fort? It looks like it's been abandoned for some time. Is anyone using it? Nope, it's really run down. Nobody ever goes there. It's been empty for ages. I've been inside, so I know. Is that right? Then that's, then what's that sound? Where's it coming from? Hmm? That sound? Oh, you're right, I do hear a weird noise. You can hear that? Neat! <laughs> You've got really good hearing. I wonder what it is. There it is again. Prince, is this Erica? Yes? Get your troops ready. Tell them to prepare for battle. We've been spotted. Monsters are coming. Get out of the way, boy. I have no use in- you've no use in battle. No way, I'm gonna fight too. We don't need your help. You'll just be in the way. You can get yourself killed when you're older. Fine, I'll do what you say. You'd better do it quickly. Those beasts won't take it easy on you because you're young. You know, Innes, we kind of need all the help we can get. I don't know if you realize what happened on the last chapter, but... What spacious chambers? I'm a bit musty, but I like it. I've decided we'll bed here for the night. I do wonder where Renak disappeared to, though. I told him not to wander off, but... Hmm. Lady uh, La Rochelle, this could be trouble. What is it, Dazla? Look there, through that break in the fog. Looks like we've got some nasty creatures running about this place. I can't see a thing. But this could be nothing but good fortune shining down upon us again. Losing our way in the mountains and running into these abominations? 
there can be no doubt we uh, were brought here to destroy these foul things. Come, Dazla, we fight. Ah, my heart cries out for battle. Okay, so La Rochelle and Dazla are going to be questionable to survive here. I don't know exactly how this is going to go. She has 10 base speed. My goodness. What a beast. Um, okay, so... So it says, in order to recruit Larachel La and Dazla, you have to keep them alive or talk to them with Erica. So I don't know if they're like linked together, like um, Garrick and uh, Tethys were. Dazla, my goat. Dazla might have to do, if we can recruit Dazla, he may do some heavy lifting for us. Because man, we are in rough shape. Actually, we can look at the monsters. How strong do the monsters look? 61 oh my god okay so remember we were talking about the monsters not being that much stronger because they don't have that much like growths <laughs> holy crap 61 health all right um anyways oh i can just bring basically everyone i guess vanessa is pretty useless here may as well bring ford ford could actually do some okay combat i don't think bringing him is a terrible idea anyways same thing with garcia Okay, Garcia, bring Calm. Calm's actually pretty good. Do I have a, I don't think I have a, um, I don't. Oh, the the torch staff we had was on Mulder. Damn, should have gotten that off him before he died. I didn't know he was gonna die, to be fair. All right, loot's good, Friends is good. Okay. Erica, I'm gonna get a new sword for. Okay, I think we're good other than that. I mean, I think there's a longbow you can have if you want it. Yeah. I'm gonna buy an iron bow and just put it in the convoy. The nice thing is we have access to the convoy, so we can always use it later in the chapter if need be. Okay. Oh, some of these some of these guys don't look that strong. There's some lower level ones. I still only have the one healer, unfortunately. Uh, okay, this guy has really high stats. Okay, great. So we have basically Joshua and Franz. All right, let's do it. What's the worst that could happen? What is the worst that could happen? Oh my God, a bunch of bony boys. Okay. It's a little scary, I'll admit. Can you get to there? No, I might have to pick up Calm then. That's okay. Maybe just like go here. And then like here, that should work. That should be okay. Uh, is anybody like thick enough to, yeah, that should work. Or oh, bring back the Nemi Calm support. So normally I send somebody over here to kind of hold this choke. The problem is we only have the one healer. Which I think, that might be dangerous, but I think it's okay. Which, I suppose I could have Gilliam do it, or at least Gilliam hang out behind. There's a chance that uh, training Gilliam at this point is just a good idea. Like a general, just an early promoted general uh, Gilliam might actually be not a bad idea, to be fair. I'm a little surprised this guy attacked Franz over Joshua. It's going to have a weapon triangle. Oh, this guy has uh, no body. Nice. I should turn on the animation so we can see Dazla. Because Dazla is a beast. We love Dazla. It seems like a lot of the monsters, though, are kind of low level, and I don't think they got much stronger. So maybe it won't be that bad. And the nice thing is, in my experience, uh, La Rochelle surviving this chapter isn't actually that bad. The Phantom Ship, the Ephraim route like version of this chapter, I've had her die quite a bit. But in this chapter, she usually survives pretty uh, easily. So maybe it won't be so bad. 
Did Joshua get one strength level up? I mean, our Joshua, I think, has gotten like four in like 50 levels or whatever, so. Unfortunately, that's just how it goes with mercenaries. Or Myrmidons. Okay, can Nemi get a kill here? Perfect. Actually, Nemi can just. Oh my god, Nemi's an absolute fiend. It might be better to actually get a kill here for. How dangerous is this? It's not the most smooth thing I've ever seen. These guys, I'm assuming, have, yeah, extremely high speed, Jesus Christ. Maybe like this? That should work. That's how I feel about Guy from the, the previous game as well. Just never, even when I decide to use him, just never gets strength. Just refuses. Sit crit, very useful. Love you, Nemi. <laughs> Keep it the good work. Unfortunately, we're getting very little experience for killing these guys. Right, give me a lance. Here, Tana. I do still want to use Tana. Oh, God. You got to start somewhere. All right, that works. Erica just setting kills for Tana. Oh, and loot. I want to keep training loot as well, but I think I already gave loot a kill this turn. Yeah, looks like it. I think that might be Tana's first kill. Yeah, I think it was. The start of something great. Big level up here. I mean, yeah, oh, that, <laughs> I wasn't wrong. We definitely take those. All right, we'll just move up. I think it's fine. Can we get a nice little juicy heal here with Natasha? The nice thing too is getting lightning in this uh, in this game is actually pretty easy because you can just, in fact, getting any kind of like tome or or uh, weapon or anything is pretty easy because you always have access to the shops. It's a little bit sketchy for Franz, but he can't crit anyways, so there's no chance that he kills this guy and then gets attacked again. The archer can attack him, but I don't think there's any way that guy will be able to kill him. God, everyone just takes so much damage. Really wish I could promote Joshua. Okay. Yeah, that dog we definitely have to be worried about. Because he'll double almost everyone on my team. I guess he won't double Dodge Joshua. I don't think he'll double Nemi either. Oh. Alright, maybe Nemi can kill that guy. That'd be, that'd be good. Kind of don't like a longbow guy being there. Yikes. He double. Okay, he's at one. <laughs> kind of a yikes because he'll attack LaRachel, or LaRachel, but I think she's probably fine. Nemi, can you kill this guy? No. <laughs> the correct answer is no. That works, though. If I could combine that with something. Um, oh, my eyes are like so watery. Uh, you have a javelin, right? I need to heal you. How do I want to do this? Maybe I don't kill this guy. Maybe, maybe we just don't need to worry about killing this guy this turn. He's not that scary. There's nothing really else around here. I guess I can move up and see what we see. Yeah. It's not too bad. Oh, you're right. She can. Ah, that's kind of cool. I should probably do that. Yeah. I didn't realize there was a little divot here. Okay. Well, that's nice. We can definitely do that. Let me handle this stuff. Let's start there because that way I can move loot up. All right, this is good, because this is less damage that uh, Larshall has to take. Nemi, your guardian angel. Yeah, can't quite kill. We could have predicted that. Um, yeah, this guy's terrifying. The, the dog. Um, that's good. This is the problem with only having one healer, is everybody is hurt right now. Mm. If I could kill two, that would be enough. Let's do this. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> let's die. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's kill this guy. I'm assuming I don't get doubled here. I have like 19 speed, yeah. Can you just like kill this guy maybe? We can certainly come close. I need to kill this guy. I need somebody else to kill that guy. 
Then I should be pretty well set up here. Yeah, that could work. Good hit. I want Erica and Joshua to be the ones choking this because they don't get doubled. How much attack does he have? 15, yeah, it's not it's not bad. But I need to heal Joshua if we're gonna make that happen. So go ahead and do that. And then I need to kill the archer. So the plan is to move up here. I really don't want to be using this killing edge anymore, but it's just so important that this guy takes a big chunk. He doesn't have to die, but he takes a big enough chunk chunk for uh, Erica to kill. Yeah, that works. Okay, perfect. And we get a kill for Tana here, which is great. Tana's one of the best places to put our experience because she gets a bunch of it. She's such a low level. And then Erica should be able to weasel her way in there. Yeah, unfortunately, Erica is wounded right now, which is very scary, but I don't think there's an enemy up here. And if there is, then yikes. But it would have to be a two range enemy. Erica definitely has enough speed not to get doubled, right? She should be like capped or close to. Yeah, 19 should be plenty. Okay, you can fight that guy if you want. She can take the Hound. It's just if there's like another enemy over there. And the Longbow guy reaches Joshua, not Erica. <coughs> so he also reaches um, T uh, Tana. But I can't imagine he can just one shot Tana. If he can, then I don't know. Screw me, I guess. But the Hound only has 15 attack and she has like seven defense or something. So she should be okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, there's Mr. Logbow. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it hurts, but it's fine. God, I really need a second healer. Okay. Okay, so maybe showed up from behind. That's a little scary, not gonna lie. Gilliam's doing a pretty good job. Uh, I guess he'll continue to do a pretty good job, hopefully. Now, we need to heal Erica. I also need to heal Franz. And he heal a lot of units. Uh... Sure. I'm assuming these hounds also have a lot of avoid. Great, and Gilliam is gonna go crazy. <laughs> he died. I definitely think he would be good. In retrospect, had I known that the that this playthrough was gonna go this way, I probably would have used Gilliam to begin with, to be honest. Tana, just hang out here for a sec. I want to take as little damage as possible. Okay, that's perfect. Great Knight Gilliam would go hard, though, low-key. Alright, then we just have Mr. Longbow. I'm gonna move up Calm. No, nothing up there. Uh, I think maybe Franz should hold the choke back there. Okay, I'm gonna set up Franz for that. I'm gonna heal him this turn instead of Erica, which should be okay. As much as I want Gilliam to do it, I really need Franz to get like a bunch of experience and then promote him. I think I think getting a promoted Franz at this point, like a really strong promoted Franz, is like the key, or one of the keys potentially to survival. Do you just like a vulnerary? Yeah, just use the vulnerary. Make sure you don't die randomly. Also, potentially Joshua, but the problem is we don't get a, a, a Knight's Crest for a handful of chapters. Dude, the hard mode bonuses on this boss go crazy. Holy crap. I don't think I've ever seen that much of a difference between hard mode and regular. It's gonna hurt. Dude, the hard mode bonuses on all the monster bosses are crazy. Does Franz have a vulnerary right now? That's the other question. He does. That's actually perfect. Okay. Okay, Gilliam. Remove Nemi first. Uh. Just go like in the corner. Okay. Oh, there's some eyeballs. Okay. Iron Lance. Evil Eye with 15. Yikes. 
Okay, just go up there. How much can I deal with a longbow? That's fine. I can heal Nemi, so. Perfect. We love that. Nemi's still 15, right? She's getting there. Maybe I'll promote Nemi. Maybe I'll promote Nemi by the end of this. I just had a stroke, I think. He still has 45 hit, even being on the on the tile. Okay. Yikes. I don't love that. Maybe Franz shouldn't be the one to choke this. It's a good dodge. Because I can't heal this turn. I guess I should have left it with uh, elixirs, not vulgaries. Good level up. Oh, Marco, it's been a it's been a rough day. Let me tell you, <laughs> it's been a rough stretch here for the old playthrough. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up. Hold on. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick up Calm. I think. And then heal, yeah, heal Erica. Make sure she's okay. Yeah, last chapter was extremely rough. I definitely, uh, basically we lost Seth turn one, and then it was just all downhill from there. It was a series, it was a combination of, uh, me not really respecting the chapter very much, and a lot of, uh, questionable decision making throughout. And that is a recipe for disaster, let me tell you. So only Mr. Longbow can reach us. Are you still hurt? No, because you didn't get hit. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, we should be okay. 42 hits. Okay, nice. I don't have a healer on standby for Fran, so him dodging these attacks is actually pretty valuable. Should have recruited Amelia. <laughs> if we just had Amelia, man. Oh, also we didn't get Innes, Garrick, or Tethys from the last chapter, so... Yeah, that was rough as well. We've had, a, we've had a lot of problems. <laughs> actually, his HP up is actually pretty nice here because he went from 28 to 29, and these guys all seem to deal 7 damage. So a little extra HP is actually pretty valuable. Ow. Okay. Okay. I mean, you want to finish your... Uh, actually, can I get a kill for Tana here? That's definitely the most valuable thing I can do, yeah. And then Tana, Tana kills are very, uh, very pog. You want to look for those. Nice. Okay. I'll take HP. The rest of that was kind of mediocre. So you have pretty good res, right? I don't really like the idea of this guy being able to reach, though. They have 15 attack. 15 is 16. I have 4 res. Damn, Erica only has three res. For some reason, I thought Erica like actually had pretty good res, but maybe I'm just mistaken. You have a lance twenty minus six is fourteen. Only one of these guys can attack me, so fourteen. Actually, I should be okay. In fact, I can even give them calm to attack. It's weird to use Tana for this, but I actually think she's okay. Unless there's like an archer out there that I'm missing. But I'm just kind of hoping there isn't. Because only one of the evil eyes can actually attack me. Well, that's not true, technically. But the AI won't attack with both. It would shock me if they did. So there's four here. Alright, this might be a mistake. But I think he's probably okay if I just use a owner here. Because he can take four hits now. So even if there's a fifth, he just needs to dodge one. Which should be okay. Yeah, I'll even give uh, Erica and Calm as like juicier targets for that guy to attack. If that's the approach he wants to take. I guess I didn't check if Tana gets doubled, but I can't imagine she would. Ow. Eight damage. Wait, okay, that was actually scary. They were all dealing seven, but this dude was little his little eight damage over here. If that would have hit and then we would have gotten hit by the other two, um friends actually could have died there. But thankfully it didn't, so 
So we are okay at the moment. Now, if there's a fifth one that could attack me, France can still die. If I wanted to be the most... Ooh. No, actually, this is fine, because I can't kill this guy, so it's okay. This guy deals nine? Okay, that's a good dodge. France needs to back up. Yikes, this is getting scary now with France. Also, we missed an 88%. We love to see that. Maybe a uh, point of defense would be pretty sweet here. <laughs> you know what? If you're not going to get defense when I ask it, getting literally every single other stat is okay. Oh, wait. Did I do math horribly wrong here? Wait, why did I think Tana could survive this? Did I just lose my mind? Oh my god. Okay, I just... I have no clue why I thought Tana could survive that. That was just completely unreasonable. I don't... Why did... I just did math so wrong there. For some reason... For some reason I thought... I don't know what I even thought there. How much attack does this guy have? Oh, he has 20 attack... Okay. So for some reason in my mind, this guy was only dealing like 8 damage or something. That was just... Okay, that was rough. I don't know what... I, I just had a, a stroke, I think. I don't know what that was about. Don't pay attention to me. Let's go over here. Is this safe? How much movement do you have? Four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, only a couple will be able to get me if I go here, so I should be good. Wow, that was really... Oh my god, okay. <laughs> it's pretty rare that I, I just do that. Like, that was just... It's, I don't even know what I was thinking. Like... I don't even know what my brain thought was going to happen there. Whatever. It's all good. We move on. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Okay. You know, Sacred Stone doesn't have that many playable units. I got to be careful. I'm going to run out of just playable units in general if I'm not careful here. <laughs> You don't die. That is a good thing. Uh, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Worst phrase for Gilliam. <laughs> yeah, who do we even have left? I suppose there's still... We still have Vanessa, but she's level 1. We still have Cormeg for potential Elysian Whip targets. And then there's always Cyrene. <laughs> I don't really want to be in a position where I have to use Cyrene, but, you know, do what you gotta do. Sirene, let's go. Now we need to get we need to get to Sirene, which the more I play, the less likely it's looking that we'll even get there. But hypothetically, Sirene is is still a, a character that we could use. You just have a slim sword? Okay, I'm not really scared of a slim sword. I'm gonna heal you. Wait. God, the fog of war is terrifying. Rip triangle attack, yeah, no, no triangle attack on this playthrough. Unfortunately, we'll just, we'll just shove Cormeg in there. Why, why can't he triangle attack with them? Now, <laughs> this never gets old. Now, if there is a, um, look at, look at one, two, three, four, five. If there's like an archer exactly right here, there is a chance that, um, Ford could die. But I kind of don't think that's the case. And if it is, then that's a bummer. Does Irene have good growth? You know, actually, I remember, um, nowadays I don't think about this too much, but when I was a kid, a lot of the, um, <laughs> excuse me, a lot of the, uh, creeper ones in this game do have really good growth. Cause I remember using like Salad and Dazla and like actually training them and stuff when I was a kid and really enjoying it. Cause they actually, a pretty good growth. Let me see Cyrene. She has 70% HP, 40% strength, 50% skill, 60% speed, 50% res. Yeah, they're not bad at all. She actually, if you get her to level 20, she has 40 health, 19 strength, 22 skill, 26 speed. I mean, that takes a while, obviously, but yeah, not terrible. Not terrible. Hey, defense and res. Okay. Could have just gotten HP, but whatever. Uh-oh, the doggos are coming.
I don't know if there's more. I think this might be it. 10 damage. All right. We may as well just slow play this. There's no reason to like rush this and potentially have Franz die. You want to get the summoner class? That is also an option. You know, I've talked about this before, but the summoner class is a really powerful class, but I never really use it that much in the game because the game's just usually not hard enough to like require it, but this may be the chance to get a lot of, a lot of utility out of the old summoner class. Oh, Vin, I, I think very much so, yeah. I think that's true. I think that's just kind of how Erica is. Eight strength, not even nine, not even bordering. She has eight strength. Is that even screwed for her or is she just like normal? I'm kind of curious. Erica at level 16 is supposed to have 10 strength. Okay, so we are two strength screwed, to be fair. I think she's pretty average across the board other than that, yeah. Calm Nemi support? We could. We have C. The problem with Calm Nemi support is I don't think I'm going to deploy Calm that much more. Uh, God, I really hate to use Erica as, like, one of the choking units, but she's kind of my best bet. What do you have? Just an iron bow? Okay, that's fine. Make sure Calm isn't obviously in range, but... Uh, okay, the doggos are coming. There's a couple of, I think, pretty strong, like, pre-promote uh, enemies here. Like, uh, um, monsters. I know the boss is a pre-promote, obviously. I keep saying pre-promote, a promoted unit. And then there's, like, one over here, and then I think there's one down here, but I could be wrong about that. I think we're going to do that. Yeah, I should really promote Nebby, to be honest. I probably will after this chapter. I'm excited to promote her as well. What's the next chapter? Okay. The nice thing is, and I shouldn't say this because it means we're going to get fucked, but this chapter and the next chapter are not too bad. In fact, the next chapter in particular is kind of not so bad. It's kind of straightforward. Now, once we get to Hamill Hill, I think things are going to get really scary. What the heck? Great level up, as always. Okay. Portion quest we take for Nebi. I think definitely Ranger. Um, I think Ranger's the best class, the best option, because you get the the mobility and you get the ability to use swords. Although I really like Sniper. I really like the way Sniper looks. Nemi Sniper is actually one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite things. Cause she, she's like pink and the bow is pink. She, she's a little bit like Louise from the previous game. I don't know why, but I, I really like it. But I think, I think we'll go Ranger. Constitution, yes, the Constitution boost will be very nice. Cause currently she's getting weighed down by steel, uh, weapons nice. Oh, did Gilliam have some visual bugs? I wasn't, uh, I wasn't looking. It's funny. Um, God, like I wanna, uh, okay. Now oh, this guy being in range is pretty annoying. I'm gonna have to pick him up. Uh, does anybody else have a vulnerary around here? You do, okay, perfect. Um, how much defense do I have? Okay, but the point is Josh was not in danger. So, let's finish this guy, hopefully. In retrospect, I wish Matthew had moved one, or sorry, I wish Calm had moved one to the, you know, one back, but it's okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have eight, right? Not nine. Seven, even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I should be fine. I need to heal you, obviously. I'm trying to figure out exactly how this is going to work this turn, because then you get Calm out of there, obviously. Well, we'll start here, because we have to do this. You need that Vulnery, and you need to heal. 
and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that should be fine. Now, I need Erica to move, right? Because unless one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's fine. Just do that. And then I guess just do. No, it's probably not worth it. Just do this, and then this, and then this. Okay, maybe not the last part. <laughs> maybe not the last part. Um, yeah. Sure, whatever. I don't know. Who cares? Oh, nice! Okay. Yeah, we love Nemi. What a beast. She still has three, de Jesus Christ. She still has her base defense. I mean, I'm assuming her defense growth is like pathetically low, but like, damn. All right, there is crit there. Are you on a forest tail? No, that's just my hit. <laughs> that's just my natural hit. Okay, well, <laughs> that's a bummer. <laughs> All right, whatever, that should work. 50%, yeah, that is pretty bad. I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. Seems Natasha. It's not great. <laughs> She's gonna have to rely quite a bit on her avoid. Okay. It should be fine because the last one can't get to him, so. Glass cannon? <laughs> She's certainly glass, I agree with that part. I agree with that part of the assessment. God, you really lost Tana. Fuck, that's so stupid. We wanna attack Joshua? Okay, it should be fine. There's no way Joshua gets doubled here, so whatever. Well, the nice thing is that uh, La Rochelle and Dazla aren't getting attacked anymore. So it seems like they're going to be okay. Uh, which is definitely nice, because like I said, Dazla can be... La Rochelle giving us a second healer, really good. And Dazla actually being a fairly decent presence, as far as just like stats are concerned, also very good. Um, I'm pretty excited about both those uh, events. Okay, that's fine. Defensive to a mighty six. To a mighty six. Yeah, it's not great, huh? That guy's full health. Uh, how do I want to do this? Yeah, I, I guess just do that. Wait, do I need to heal friends? Maybe this wasn't a good idea. That's true, we do get Salad in the next chapter. That is very true. 17, minus nine is eight. Okay, so I do survive. Not that he'll be attacking me because he can just attack Nemi, but whatever. Yeah, that's a really good point. Salad is gonna be huge for us, my goodness. My goodness. How do I kill this guy? That's a good question. Is there an answer to the question, or I'm just gonna kind of pose the question? 38, huh? All right, let's just do this. How much, did you say you could do eight? <laughs> I don't know why I said, did you say you could do eight? Joshua's not talking to me. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, we're looking okay. As far as this chapter goes, everyone is still extremely hurt. That's okay. What level is Natasha at the moment? 11, okay. It's a shame that healers just uh, gain level so slowly. Wow, you actually did attack Franz, what the hell? This guy could have attacked Nemi and instead attacked Franz. I feel like Franz is gonna die. What the hell? <laughs> Why would he do that? Is he okay? Is he feeling all right? Big level up, Jesus. Oh, I didn't- I have no regrets, this is always my fate. I, why didn't I move Garcia? I Literally no one knows. Literally no one knows. 
Fuck me. All right, that's fine. We can work with that. I mean, Garcia wasn't exactly a huge part of our plan anyways. I have a, I don't know if anyone's aware. I mean, you clearly aren't, but I have a hidden agenda. It's called killing every unit. <laughs> I'm actually succeeding. <laughs> We're actually doing really well, to be honest. <laughs> I'm actually dominating this game right now. Dude, I just, I just didn't move him. I, I don't know why. Oh my God. Uh, what are we doing? Like father like son. I mean, again, you know, Garcia was really not going to play into any of our strategies. Like, I wasn't going to promote him or anything, but... God, I can't believe I lost Tana and Garcia in this chapter in, like, just the dumbest ways possible. Actually, I can believe it, but it's still sad. I know, dude. He is ridiculous. Offensively, Franz is just nuts. He is insane. Okay. We can buy Restore. Um, and Restore really isn't that important in Sacred Stones. There really isn't uh, opportunities or, like, necessary moments for Restore. So it's not that big a deal. Iron Lance. Okay, you don't kill me. Is this dangerous if I do this? Iron Lance. Iron Lance. I mean, slightly? If this guy attacks me too, 18, 9, then I get 1 defense. Now let's just keep doing this slowly, there's no reason to rush. I still need to heal some of our units anyways. I like loot. Princess supports Natasha. We could do that. That's not a bad idea. Little, little Natasha, Natasha Fran slash Natasha um, Joshua support. Not a terrible place to be. Nice. Nice. We love that. Okay, so, Calm, I do want you to get that chest, but I, I need vision. Let's get down there. I want to say they open this door eventually, yeah. Maybe he's going to do that next turn, I don't know. Fran just move up. Nemi needs to be healed. Okay, so, yeah, I'm still not really that worried about promoting people. We will eventually. So Nemi is level 16 and Franz is level 14, okay. The Joshua can't be promoted. And loot is level 9. Okay. It's not great, but it is what it is. Nice. Franz is also a champion at missing attacks like that. How fast are these gargoyles that I didn't double that? Wow. That was kind of scary. What? Where are you going? Where the hell do you think you're going, bud? All right, I need to get to um, I need to get to her like now. Uh, I don't I don't know what Dazla just did, but it scared me. I think it's like a radius thing. Let me let me see if it shows me. Like I want to say that once you get close enough, this guy opens the door. I don't know, maybe not. Can't can't really remember because I do remember him opening the door. Maybe zone base. Yeah, I think it doesn't show on from WOD, but it definitely might be. Now I'm slightly worried about Lurishell. Oh my God, Natasha! This is a nice Natasha. We love that. That's yeah, pretty good. Let me wound him a little bit for you. I maybe I should have given loot the kill. Oh well, it's fine. Archer. Speaking of archers, Nemi want to kill this guy. Uh, I'd rather have you kill, yeah. Nice. We love crits. 
I think it does. Yeah, I think just somebody was in range for him. I'm gonna have friends, I think, actually just go over here. Because if worse comes to worse, I can pick up uh, La Rochelle next turn, which I think is valuable. And the Gargoyle... How much movement do Gargoyles have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So he'll definitely be able to reach Nemi, but that's okay. I suppose I could do this and then this, and then he can't, can't actually reach Nemi. Yeah, it's probably better. You're not wounded, are you? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that way we can pick up uh, La Rochelle next turn. Oh my god, is he attacking the, like, promoted? Oh no, he's just gonna, like, kill himself. Okay, whatever it was, we must have triggered it. I might get doubled here, actually. Yeah, that is a, that is a good point. Because you're right, in Fire Emblem 7, um, green units can't see in the fog because Pent will attack straight in the fog. But yeah, clearly Dazla didn't quite see in the fog, right? Because he just ran into an enemy, so... Yeah, what did happen there? <laughs> that was really bizarre. I mean, Dazla's just gonna die now. Oh man, that sucks. Maybe he'll back off and heal. This is also bad what's going on here. There's also there's a promoted gar death gargoyle or whatever they're called down there. I also need to pick up Larachelle, but she should heal. Please come back to me. If Larachelle like pushes into the enemy and heals, I'm gonna lose my Okay. That's reasonable. Oh god, what is that? That's not protecting her, Dazla. How strong is this guy? Oh my fucking god! What am I looking at? What, what is that? Holy shit! I wasn't expecting that. I'll be straight up. I wasn't expecting to see that. Well, I don't know how I fight that. That's just ridiculous. Um, oh my god! So... Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, get in there, Nemi. <laughs> Holy crap. I need to kill this guy so France can get back over there. Maybe like this. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay, perfect. I think we might have to just abandon La Rochelle and Dazla. It's so bad because I need them so bad. But I just don't really think I can do much. Calm, can you like... I suppose the guy still won't be able to reach La Rochelle, and this guy won't kill her. How do we look fighting these guys? Very mediocre. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, now the nice thing is, we have Nemi, which normally is not actually that great of a thing. But, for our purposes, uh, Nemi will actually be really useful here because the effective damage is really nice. I actually probably shouldn't have moved Calm over there, because I would like to get some more vision over here, but whatever. What's done is done. Do you get doubled 15 speed? No, because he gets weighed down, so we're okay. Uh, yeah, I should need to kill this guy. Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's quite bad. Uh, I can't really do that. Yeah, I get doubled. Yeah, maybe I should have just used iron there. I could crit. Chances are pretty unlikely. Oh my god. Uh. All right, well, we're definitely doing this. We have to do this. I'm sure he doesn't have the steel sword. Uh. I mean, that's nine damage. Nobody can deny that. I should just use the iron bow. 68% was a pretty rough, uh, was a pretty rough percentage there to take, I think. Okay, we can do this. And then... Oh, I get one rounded if I'm not on the, Jesus Christ. What's your damage again? Three. So even if I crit, we need a double crit. Hold on. So 14. 
plus 17. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> I suppose we could do like this. No, like this. Hold on. No, it doesn't work. Did she's the the um it's what's well, growths, right? So it was like it was like a flat 20% to all growths, I think. It's around the gargoyle. I mean we could the problem is the gargoyle can just want one round uh forward. I suppose if we do that, yeah, that works. Uh, Gilliam can still die. No, because Ford... It's only 57%. All right, whatever. So let's do this. Vulnery. And then Natasha doesn't get doubled, right? I have 14 speed now. And then this, and then I'll heal. Oh, he's already full health. Uh, I guess I could just go here. Oh, well, this is fine. Yeah, this is okay. All right, that's the best I can do. Miss? Nice. You're telling me there's a chance. Ow. Yeah, I think, yeah. And I think we're starting to see a lot of the, a lot of that kind of rear its, uh, its head. Do I survive if I double here? Uh, do I survive a hit from the Death Gargoyle? What do we say? He had 32. I think I just die if he attacks me. Gilliam could die here. If the if the Death or not the Death Gargoyle, but if the Gargoyle chooses to attack him, he could die. Franz or Ford could also die. Yeah, it was a good miss. Maybe she can stay alive. It seems like the gargoyles are moving first. <laughs> you think he can survive? <laughs> uh, bye, Gilliam. I was worried for anything. Damn, the, that Nemi miss was so bad. I should have just used the iron bow. It was so much more consistent. All right, this is good. This is good, because the death gargoyle, I think, could have killed Franz there. I still think this chapter is doable, like, genuinely. Um, just because we can still, like, zone the death gargoyle and hit with Nemi. La Rochelle and Dazla, I think, are dead, for sure, but... Maybe Dazla can survive. The problem is that the, the we're choking the, for the Death Gargoyle, but the, he will just walk over and attack Dazla so, and, and La Rachel or La, La Rochelle, so... Yeah, I don't think she can... Unless I can kill him this turn, but there's no way. He has 19 defense, Jesus Christ. Um... Oh, also, both these guys are going to need healing every turn, which I can't really provide with one healer. Uh... So you could probably just vulnerate. You I probably need to heal. I guess if you want to javelin this guy, yeah, that works. Kill that guy. Good. If she does a little crit, that would be pretty dope. Not gonna lie. Okay, so you use the vulnery. Do that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I still, again, I still think this is doable. I still think this is okay. From our perspective, this is okay. From the perspective of keeping Dazla and Rachel alive, you know, <laughs> we're gonna talk about that. But from the perspective of us staying alive, I still think we're okay. As far as our situation is concerned at the moment. Not great, but okay. Nice. Very useful crit. Maybe promotion. 
Yeah, maybe I should have. The problem is now I need her basically every turn to actually attack. Is this worth it? Yeah, there's no way he dies, so this is okay. This is good, just good chip damage. We can't let one of these gargoyles die because if one of them dies to either Joshua or Franz, then the death gargoyle will attack and he'll almost definitely kill. So that's something we can't have happen. Oh, also, LaRachel can get attacked by two different units right now, so I think she's probably, uh, she's probably dead. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and let this enemy phase play out. When I come back, I'm sure I'm gonna see a little speech bubble popping up for somebody. That guy was invisible, by the way. <laughs> hard to say it, but I must beg your leave. Sorry, La Rochelle. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> and he definitely gets doubled here. Crit? Alright, good chip damage. Oh! Oh! Maybe, though? Okay, Dazzle should still have elixirs. I think I can recruit him this turn, can't I? Because you just have to talk to him with Erica, I think. So, okay, hold on. Oh god, there's eyeballs now. The problem is now there's going to be two range. Ugh, yikers, yikers. Okay, kill this guy. With the javelin equipped? Oh, was he? Yikers. Oh, yeah, because he would have gotten doubled, huh? Yeah, for sure. 13 speed. 13. He has 17? Yeah, he would have exactly gotten doubled. You are correct. Oh, wait. I thought I just had to talk to him. Oh, I wonder if maybe... Oh, the only, the only talk is... Oh, so I can't recruit him. Uh, maybe if he survives, I still get him? Question mark? I don't know. I guess we can find out. Uh, can I, can I rescue him? Okay, we can at least keep him alive. So there's no way, so let me, let me just make something clear, because we may as well not rescue him if we can, if we can't recruit him. I know we can't recruit him on the chapter, but now that La Rochelle is dead, we can't get him at all, right? Even if he survives the chapter, like, that's just not a thing. Because I'm not going to bother rescuing. We may as well use him as, like, a helpful unit on this chapter if we can't get him at all. Let me look at recruitment. Uh... See, I don't know. Because on Serenus Forest, it says... It says, NPC, talk to with La Rochelle or keep alive. So I'm thinking, if he just survives the chapter, do we just get him? Yeah, see, Vin, that's what I'm looking at, too. All right, whatever. I'm, I'm going to rescue him. I think keeping Dazla alive is, is valuable enough to try, at least.
Okay. So, we actually have a pretty good... Oh, man, do I take this? I wonder if this guy will move. Hold on, how much defense do you have? 19? How much attack do I have with the Killing Edge? 20... Jeez. That's only going to be one damage. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I wonder if he'll move. Uh, I don't know. Alright, let me back up. This is terrifying. At least, he, at least we learned something. Yeah, I definitely think it's worth it because keeping him alive, I think, is valuable enough to, to risk it. And we're not really risking much. I mean, hypothetically, he could do a little bit more damage to the Death Gargoyle, but that's about it. All right, let's see. I want to see which enemies move. I wonder if they all will. The Death Gargoyle certainly will. Oh, my God. How much do I do? 11 damage. I deal 20 with that. Let me just test with Joshua really quick. I don't even double either. Jesus Christ. I can't really choke anymore with the with the eyeballs being the way that they are. Where do I go? Um, yeah, I think he joins. I think you're right. I think you're right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um. Well, here's, so, he has 17 speed. No, there's no way I double. All right, I'm gonna do this. Okay, good hit. That's a good start. That's a really good start. Maybe we just keep doing this. <laughs> How much movement do you have? Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Wait. Is anybody hurt? No. Okay, but you can't get here. Okay. You know what I could have done, actually? Maybe I'll do it next turn. Wait, I can do this better, actually. Oh, I'm in Calm Support Range now. Okay. Okay. All right, hold on. I can do this better, actually. So, seven movement means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Let me make sure everybody can get out of here, actually, before I do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I, I can't drop this turn. Shoot. How much do you have? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could have dropped with Calm. Nah, that was a, that was dumb on my part. We're starting to get we're starting to get caught up. That's the problem. But it's okay if somebody gets attacked here. I'm trying to figure out what the best. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, and he can only go to there. Oh, that's already a problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's already a problem. Okay, this is okay. So, what we need to do is have Franz go. And then you go, where can you go? So we need to have Franz. Yeah, actually, it doesn't really matter. I don't know why I'm doing all this math. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Yeah, no, this is fine. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, that was... Yeah, that was just dumb. I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Can the eyeball get to me? That's the question. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Maybe. No. Okay, good. So... Okay, Nemi, I need you to hit this. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. And a sick level up, what a beast, my goat. Restarting vanilla, straight to Path of Radiance. Um, I think I wanna try this difficulty again, if we do fail. Um, oh God, still gotta deal with this. Sick Lance, um... Can either of you kill this guy? No, right? No. So... Oh, God. Iron Bow. Yeah, so let's go like this. This is so sketchy. Dude, ne Nemi's the goat, I'm telling you. Nemi is the goat. Please hit. Okay, very good. Very good. Um, yeah, I think, so I think what I want to do, if, if we fail this, which is, you know, <laughs> uh, if, when we fail this, maybe the better uh, approach. Um, I think I want to try it again on this difficulty. I know this has been crazy, but I think if I respect the difficulty a little bit more and use better characters, like if we train Franz quicker, Seth, Vanessa, I think it'll be a lot easier and we're gonna, it's gonna look a lot different. I hope this hits. That would have been really bad if it would have missed. It does, Joshua. It looks extremely sus. Yeah, I really don't know, especially with the Fog of War, if either or both of them are in danger, but, um... I don't think I could have really backed up. I could have maybe backed up, to be fair. But, you know what I could do? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Because you still have, like, good health, right? Yeah, in fact, full health. Okay. There's a chance that Ford could actually die. But I'm gonna do... Oh, I should have put him... Ah, oh, that's fine. And then I'm gonna put you here, too. Okay. That's the best I can think to do. Perfect. Yeah, attack Dazla. This loot does not want to be loot. I know! What is with this loot? <laughs> She's trolling. Yeah, there's a definite chance that Ford could die here. But I'd rather have Ford die than Franz or Joshua. Yeah, that's a bummer, but it's not really that important. It was fun while it lasted. Now, actually, that's slightly annoying because it means that Franz is going to have to pick up Dazla for the rest of the chapter. Um, but that's okay. Quentin is under pressure. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I do try to, I do try to remain, despite my uh, questionable decisions, I do try to always, like, look for a way out. Definitely better decisions could have been made in this chapter. I think promoting, if we could, somebody mentioned it, but if we could have snuck in a Nemi promotion, which I definitely think we could have, that would have really helped us. I was, I was toying with the possibility of Nemi getting enough speed to double the Death Gargoyle, but I don't think she would have gotten there. But I'm not 100% sure on that. She's minus four magic? Jesus Christ. That's like her only good stat. <laughs> At least she's gotten a decent amount of speed. 11 speed is pretty nice. I don't know if that's blessed, but it feels pretty good. Okay, that works. Tactical sacrifice. We let Dazla cook. I want to let Dazla cook, just not necessarily in this chapter, because I want to get experience for other people. But we could just follow him around and heal him. I just don't want him to like kill the boss because that can be a bunch of experience for other people. All right, Calm, I need you to... No, maybe not do that. <laughs> I just need vision. In fact, if you want to open the chest, that's fine. Oh, secret book. Perfect, okay, this should be it then. For the time being. Uh, sure, no, whatever. She's at average speed, really? She's not even blessed? Oh my god. <laughs> what a great unit. What a, what a busted unit. Okay, that's fine. So we need to kill... 
I need to kill this guy. That, that will put him at nine. How much can you deal? That's the perfect amount. Now, to be fair, this chapter has been a nightmare. The last chapter was a nightmare, but we haven't lost any of our extremely important units. Nemi, Joshua, and Franz all still live. Now, Joshua and Nemi are not exactly great classes, but at least there are high level units and they're all like pretty good, especially Nemi and Franz. Um, so I don't think this chapter or this playthrough is just completely dead. We still have a decent amount of um, potentially strong units. Natasha, it's weird to say that Natasha could be a good combat unit, but she does promote into a good unit. Um, oh no, wait. Does Natasha's promotion, cause she can promote into Bishop, right? Do female bishops get the slayer skill? For some reason, I feel like they don't, but it wouldn't really, it would, it seemed weird to me if they didn't. Oh, Dazzle doesn't move. Okay, I guess I didn't think about that. Well, that's good. Then we don't have to worry about him. We get Salad next map. That's also very true. This, this game doesn't have like the Fire Emblem 7 level of uh, really strong pre-promotes, but it does have some decent ones and Salad and Dazzler are definitely uh, good ones. Oh, they do? Oh, I, I don't know why I thought they didn't. Well, that's really good then, because to be honest, just having the Slayer skill with like her pretty good speed and good magic can make her like a beast, uh, especially in the end game. So we still have that. Can even heal Dazzle here. So who's still left on this map? Oh, there's still the promoter unit. Let's not go too far. Yeah, because there's still this guy, but this guy's a juicer for experience. So the level's friends, 15. That means 17, okay. You can come attack me if you want. I will accept that. Then we'll heal this man. This is increase XP gain. Oh, really? I didn't know that. But yeah, so we still have access to that. And loot eventually will hopefully like kind of even out on the whole lack of magic thing, so. We're not in great shape. I think that's pretty clear, but we're not like completely dead. Dazzle gets doubled by almost every enemy. Yeah, you know, actually that's a good point. When I say Dazzle's a pretty good unit, I, I don't know about Dazzle on like this version of the game. <laughs> Cause you are right. He probably will get doubled by everything. I think he only has like nine base speed or something. Yeah, but it's, it's a, you know, he's a 43 health unit. So at least give us some decent bulk. He's like Hawkeye from Final 7. Except the units are just like extremely buffed in this. Okay, cool. Full level. Level 18. Jesus Christ, she still has her base speed. We love that. Short spear, not terrible. I'm gonna heal you. Here, we can go back to the animations that I had before. Like normal Sacred Stones? Yeah, I believe it. I believe it, especially the end game. The end game of Sacred Stones, even on just like normal hard mode is like no joke. Yeah, Dusel, I forgot about Dusel. Dusel's a really good one. Dusel is very solid. He will also probably get doubled by everything, but at least it's pretty good. And then Noel, of course, can be a summoner, which summoner is just, you know, its own busted class. Okay, there's still this fella. So there are still some good pre-promotes to be had. And eventually Erica will get to promote. I mean, that's not, you know, a huge boon, but <laughs> it is something. And we have trained her a lot. Yeah, exactly. That's the nice thing about Noel. You can just promote him immediately, which is pretty great. And then maybe next chapter, next chapter I'll, tr I'll probably try to make sure that Nemi gets to 20 and Franz gets to 20. And then maybe we can like really focus on loot. And then there's E1. We haven't talked about E1 yet, but there's always him. Um, he's not, you know, the easiest person in the world to train, but. Yeah, and our frame was pretty good, and I'm sure he'll get good. Uh, they they always give the the lords a, a free a few free levels, so I think he'll probably end up being useful. Yeah, 
The chapters that I'm really worried about, I would probably say, I think Hamel Hill is gonna be scary. I'm really worried about that. I think the Gorgon chapter could be scary. I think River Regrets, depending on how strong Lion is, could be scary. The Defend chapter with Reeve, I think could be really scary. I'm not that worried about a chapter like Darkling Woods because it's a little more straightforward, but there are some chapters I'm very nervous about. And Amelia, yeah, and then, <laughs> and then there's Amelia. <laughs> true, true though, true. So there are definitely some very worrisome chapters uh, from here on out, but we'll take them one step at a time. We can always come up with strategies, you know, as we get to them. The nice thing about the defense chapter in particular is that you can always kind of cheese it by just taking off everybody's weapons. So who knows? Maybe we'll figure it out as we go. And we're finally getting close to some promotions. So I'll also say this just as a blanket statement. I know, um, I know some people have been asking for promotions. I really should have promoted units earlier. The reason I'm not promoting units mostly is because I just like seeing numbers go up and I don't like early promoting units, but it, there is a little bit of strategy to it because the, the enemy stats throughout this game have seemed really ridiculous and I think they will continue to scale pretty ridiculously. And so our units being able to scale is really important, which is a big part of why I haven't done early promotions. However, some early promotions on like Franz and Nemi, for example, I think could have gone a very long way and I really should have done them. But, see numbers go up, but my level seven Ken, my level 11 Ken has seven strength. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, at some point, the, <laughs> at some point the unit's trying to tell you something, right? <laughs> uh. Yeah, I, again, I, I don't think it's necessarily correct. The thing is, not early promoting won't matter if we can't get to the late game, like at all. Um, crossover bases. <laughs> Uh, but I do think it's going to be important because, yeah, these enemies have seemed pretty ridiculous at this stage. And it's only going to get worse. This is much strength as my level 11 Lin. That's so sad. <laughs> oh, Kent. Seven strength is ridiculous. We had a pretty terrible Kent the other playthrough, but he wasn't that bad. <laughs> That's really rough. All right, I think it's just the boss. I'm curious how strong this boss is, to be honest. He might be pretty tough. The nice thing about all this poison is it's been a great experience for Natasha. I still can't see him. I think he's like in the corner down there. It's funny too because we've killed almost all of our Knight's Crest users. I was thinking like, because I think you get another Knight's Crest on Hamel Hill, and I was like, uh, oh, you know, what, what else can we do with the Knight's Crest? But uh, <laughs> we can't do anything with the Knight's Crest, turns out, because <laughs> we don't have any of them alive. I think there is going to be crit here, which I'm a little bit worried about, but... 11 experience at a time. Sometimes 12 if she, uh, if she mends. That crit is scary, but I get good experience for doing this, so... Okay. <laughs> I have a weird level up, but I'll take some more speed. We've talked about this before, but extremely high speed in a game like this is actually very valuable, so I don't really mind him getting a ton of it. How does Nemi look here? Not amazing, let's just say that. You know, with the crit, I should probably be using either Erica or Joshua to do this. I don't know. We haven't gotten crit yet, so... At least there's that. Uh, yeah, actually, if, if Erica wants to fight this guy instead, maybe... Or maybe Joshua. <laughs> you know, I knew it was going to be zero, but it still made me laugh. <laughs> oh, what a terrible unit. Juicy Nemi kill. Yeah, exactly. 
Hopefully. We can get it for her. Just want to make sure no no crit shenanigans happen here. We spell money units as a whole. Yeah, it does. It does. And that's why I'm slightly worried about losing so many units, because eventually we're just we're just simply gonna run out. I've never really had an Iron Man that just kind of peters out with units, but this could be the one, honestly. I can't keep hemorrhaging them like this. Like, we are just gonna run out at some point. Nice crit! Big crit out of Erica! My goodness. What an absolute beast. All right, Nemi, take us home. Six recruitable units left, yeah. There's just not a ton, unfortunately. Nice, 19 speed. We still have three defense, Jesus Christ. Okay. Are you all right, uh, La Rochelle? Uh, can't believe it. Those foul creatures get the, the better of me. It was part of Heaven's plan. Oh, something just struck me. I just realized I have not um, had the honor of your name. Oh, you're right. How strange. We've met so often now that I'd assumed you already. Please forgive my lack of manners. My name is Erica, Milady. It's all right, Seth. She's clearly not our enemy. Erica. Aha! So you must be Princess Erica of Renai. It is simply an honor to meet you. And how strange that we should meet in a place like this. You must be lost as well. This continent is so confusing. Uh, yes. Actually, we're not lost at all. You see... Is that so? Well, clearly, I must be allowed to accompany you. You want to travel with us? God, I wish you could, Larachel. I wish you could. I appreciate your offer, but our journey is far too perilous. I do not wish to pull you into this madness. No, no, no. There can be no doubt that we were sent here to aid you. It is all part of the grand design. I, Larachel... Shall play my role and fulfill my divine duties, this I swear. Are you sure this is wise, princess? Don't worry, Seth. Well, that's that, uh, Dazla. You and I are now traveling with Erica and her companions. <laughs> I understand. For you, Lady Larachelle, I would do absolutely anything. I would run to the ends of this world and dive into the sea of evil. How very like you, my dear, dedicated Dazla, so noble. Come, we're off. <laughs> well, one of you is off. Teacher, hello! That's strange, he's not here. Must be out wandering again. He's out? That poses a problem. Do you know when he'll return? Mm, I don't know. He often goes out and looks for people in need. I believe I told you I would. it would be best to stay away. I've been charged with a mission. It must depart again soon. Ah, teacher. You. We met before, haven't we? You were looking for someone. Oh, uh, yes. And now we meet again. These people say they want to go through Care Palin. I could guide them myself, but I thought it might be better if you went, too. That's why I brought you here. What do you say? Will you guide them? Would you please? Very well. I'm heading there now. If you need to go to Care Palin, you're free to follow me. You don't mind? We have little interest in the outside world, but we do not uh, refuse travelers. I should warn you, the road is not easy, and you look very weary. You should rest at night before attempting the mountains. We do not need rest. Or we need we do need rest, that's true. <laughs> we are all exhausted from our encounter with those creatures. We must give our men time to heal, or we'll be useless in an emergency. It's settled then. I'll go on ahead and let the elder know we're coming. See? Even when there's no fighting to be done, I'm still useful. No wait, he's gone. I wonder if he'll be alright. Idiotic boy. <laughs> I understand his need to be helpful, but Ewan knows this land well. You needn't worry about him. We'll depart at sunrise. I suggest you all get some rest. Oh, you're right, no free Renok. So, yeah, we can't get Renok, huh? I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, can you still pay for him? Can you... Is Renok a recruitment where you just pay if you don't have Lorachel? Uh, oh, yeah, you can. Um, So we can still potentially get him. That is a bummer, though. That is a bummer for sure. Princess Erika, Erika of Renai, hold. Who? You? You're General Glenn of Grotto. We met once in the capital, didn't we? You were very kind to me. However, if you're here now, I have to assume this means... Yes, it does. I wish our reunion could come under different circumstances. Erika, I must tell you, I came here on direct order of the Emperor. I'm to bring you to justice... I'm to bring to justice the rebel army leader who's been terrorizing Carcino. It's you, Erika. They say you've been murdering innocents. What? 
Wait, what do you mean? I... If you have something to say, I would hear it. I know all too well that Grotto has robbed you of your homeland, but even so, I do not believe revenge could drive a woman like you to such depths. And yet, here you are in Carcino with a small army under your command. <laughs> a very small army. <laughs> and the Emperor tells us that you massacred everyone in Port Curious. That that's a lie. I could never go on. This is ridiculous. Believe what you want. Could one of the legendary Imperial Three honestly be as stupid as this? What do you mean? Carcino betrayed Fralia and set a pack of mercenary dogs to kill me. And you paint Erica a rebel instigator? It's an absurd farce. Your Emperor commits horrors, and you believe Erica is a criminal? What are you saying? You truly are blind, aren't you? You're one of the Imperial Three, and yet you can't see your Emperor's plans. That's enough, Prince Innes. There's no need to provoke him. General Glenn, we've told you uh, what we know to be true. What we've seen fin firsthand. We don't want to fight you, but if you push us, we will drive you back to Grotto with your tail between your legs. Damn! Tell him! I see. You are more observant than you know. I am ignorant of the Emperor's designs. General Dussel and I both question the wisdom of this war. And if you really are innocent of the crimes attributed to you, why would His Majesty lie to us? I must know the answer. To you, believe us? The Princess Erica I met long ago was kind and merciful in spirit. You faded uh, relentlessly. You faced relentless hardships, and yet that selfless spirit remains true. Let's put our fight aside for now. I will learn the truth, then I will once again perform the duties of my office. If you've lied to me today, I will hound you to the very grave itself very well. Glenn's kind of a badass. It's a shame he's about to get murdered, but... Just in the... Oh, okay. Yeah, we can try to earn some money by then. Yeah, we do get Cormag. Cormag could be good, for sure. Glenn, what do you think you're doing, Volter? What am I to make of this? Those little birds uh, I saw flittering away into the mountains looked vaguely familiar. What do you suppose would happen if it were known that you let Erica escape? Do as you will. I'm returning to the capital. I have questions for the Emperor. Clear the path, Volter. Hold on now. No reason to rush off, is there? After all, this is where you're gonna die, see? <laughs> what are you babbling about? <laughs> we were a grand trio, the Imperial Three, you, Dussel, and me. My place among you was stolen, and I was exiled from Grotto. You slaughtered people who had no intention of fighting. The Emperor's punishment was just and warranted. <laughs> After my fall from glory, only desire uh, kept me alive. Desire for revenge. My hatred burned so fierce that I was only barely able to keep my sanity. That hatred keeps me warm still today. Oh, how it burns. Hear me, Glenn, Wyvern General of the Imperial Three. I live for battle. I crave it. I have no need for peace. This is why you must die. Uh-oh. Kur, you're mad! A battle between generals sends the sends the spirit soaring, eh? Come, General, entertain me. Or come, Glenn, entertain me. Ha ha ha. Ugh. Glenn, maybe using a silver sword against uh, a killer lance isn't the way to go here. Yet <laughs> sanity? Apparently. I don't think that's true. Ah, the small fish are yours. <laughs> this is merely the beginning. Endless battle, war without end. <laughs> Glenn, no. Yeah, I'm always sad that Glenn died there. All right, this is where I'm gonna end the stream for today. But we need to get. Oh God, I gotta remember who died. Shit, hold on a minute. <laughs> I gotta remember who's dead. Okay, who's all dead? Um, who is all dead? Uh, Ford died, I remember that. I know Ford died. <laughs> Hello, Loot Crate. <laughs> I like that name. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to me adding characters to the death counter. Uh, Gilliam. Yep, Gilliam. Gilliam is dead. Um, who else? Who else is dead? There's definitely more people, right? Uh, oh, Tana. Tana is dead. Um, welcome, Azrael Sun. Yeah, welcome, Azrael Sun. Welcome, Harful Peach. Uh, it, it was an interesting stream, let's just say that. Dude, there are so many Tana pictures from Heroes to choose from. Here, this one, this one looks the, this one's got some color too. We'll go with that one. Um, is that it? Does it, did anybody else? I mean, I guess Lower Shell technically died, but 
Here's Tana. Look at this Tana. She's so happy. She was so happy once. Not anymore. Now she's dead. Um. Oh, Garcia. Garcia died. What happened? Okay, so the Pablo chapter, the Carcino chapter was a lot more difficult than I was expecting. Seth died on turn one. Um, and the rest of the chapter kind of just fell apart. So we weren't able to get Ein's Tethys or Innis Tethys or um, Garrick. And then <laughs> nothing, only eight units died. And then the chapter we just did had a Death Gargoyle that had like 20 in every stat. <laughs> Which we were very lucky to get out of alive, to be honest. Nemi played a big role in uh, in keeping us alive because she was able to shoot him. Um, yeah, that's what happened basically. <laughs> and then forward. I think that's it. Can anybody else think of anything? Any other units? I think those, other than the units that we just never recruited, I think that's it. Ross. Um. Oh yeah, actually, before we... Hold on a minute. So, I, I am going to read the story and everything next time, but I'm kind of curious. We did get Dazla. Okay, okay, we did get Dazla. I wanted to check that really quick. So, we did get Dazla, which, which is kind of a big deal. By the way, look at our, uh, look at our team. Like, <laughs> we actually have just enough to bring 10 units, and then we're going to get Salad, too. But yeah, we do get Dazla, which is pretty cool. I think that's it, though. I think that's our entire death counter. All right, well, if anybody remembers anything before next time, or I guess on next time, as far as deaths go, let me know. Uh, but yeah, this is, like I said, where I'm going to end the stream for today. Um, I mean, the run's not dead. You know, we're hanging in there. I still think there's a chance. We're probably going to promote Franz and Nemi on this chapter. Um, and then we're going to get E1, maybe do some stuff with loot, and then... And then hopefully get in uh, Hero's Crest. But yeah, that'll be next time, so... Definitely not a uh, not a great stream, but you know <laughs> we're hanging in there. Um, so I'll be back. Was this Thursday, right? So I'll be back next Monday, same time. We'll keep going with this. Uh, we'll see how far it goes. Like I said during the stream, I know some people asked me. Um, I'm definitely gonna. I think I'm probably gonna reset with the same difficulty if we fail. Maybe I'll tone it down. We'll see how far we get. I wanna. I wanna know like just how tough stuff gets with this difficulty setting. Um, so we'll see how far we get, and we'll see whether or not I decide to tone it down. But I will probably run it back, um, even if we do fail this run at this point. But, but yeah, anyways, thanks for watching as always. I appreciate it, and I will see you next time.